in Columbus. And we welcome our YouTube viewers in as well into the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're going to take you through the matchup here tonight. These same two teams went head-to-head -head last night. It was an 11-1 Columbus River Dragons win. The big question on everyone's mind, I think, today, what are the Zydeco going to do as a response? Well, we're about a half hour away from finding out. There's still tickets if you want to come down and join us in person if you're in the local listening or viewing area. We certainly encourage you to come down to the Columbus Civic Center and enjoy some exciting River Dragons hockey. It's the end of an eight-game homestand. The boys are on the road next week heading up to Michigan for a three-game set with the Motor City Rockers. But before then, you don't want to look past this Zydeco team that Although they come in struggling this year, as we take a look at the records here, the Zydeco last in the FPHL, now 6-22, 24 points on the season, and just a, a rough one all the way around for this Zydeco hockey team. Tough loss last night, but a game that really had the potential, especially early in the first period, to go the other way, as Brennan Colgan was called out early and often to make several spectacular saves. And honestly, really did not let the Zydeco get the momentum that possibly they even deserved in that first period. But Columbus broke it open in the second period with six goals and scored three more to cap it off in the third in that victory. The River Dragons with the win now up to 86 points. First place in the Continental and the FPHL itself. 26-3, 2-2-1. And Columbus now 179 goals for on the season. That is tops in the league and they have played two less games than the team that is right behind them with 178, the Binghamton Black Bears in 36 games. Binghamton has scored 178 goals. River Dragons have an incredible 843 win percentage right now, and their goals against is the lowest in the FPHL, just 92 goals against for Columbus this season, a plus 87 goal differential. No one can touch that. The other thing, the River Dragons right now, their Tim Hortons win streak, 14 games for this hockey team. They've not lost since the calendar flipped to 2024. They're unbeaten in regulation at home this year at 17-0-1. Columbus is absolutely rolling and rolling on home ice as well. They look to cap this eight-game homestand here tonight with another win over the Zydeco. So as we get through this Air Force Heating and Air program, we're going to be able to give you more insight into uh, what's going on with the River Dragons and the Zydeco. A lot of the moves were made earlier in the week for the Zydeco as they continue to try to find some answers. And I can't say the answer. I don't know that there is a the answer for the Zydeco right now, but they're trying to find some answers. They're trying to build that identity, which, again, they're an expansion team this year. Whether it's NHL or FPHL, it's usually a rough first season for hockey clubs as they build their culture, build their team, try to get the right pieces in place. It's not the easiest thing to do. And the Zydeco are going through that right now. And there are obvious growing pains. You can see it on the scoreboard, but then you also see those moments where they do experience some growth. And that's really what the season has been all about for the Zydeco and, of course, its fan base. I mean, look, that's not an easy thing for your season ticket holders, your fans, the folks who are wearing your merchandise out there. But you know what? It's it's your team, Baton Rouge. And, you know, you, you have to support that team as they do learn and grow, even though it's a difficult season this year. That's undeniable. But, uh, yeah, just trying to get those pieces in place. And so taking a look right now down at warm-ups and looking at the players on the ice, one thing that we did notice yesterday was the third period benching of one of the Zydeco players. And actually, the reason I'm scanning the ice right now, I'm trying to see if Matthew Bazarin is even out there for warm-ups. I don't see number 13 out there. And I know he was certainly upset yesterday during the game. He was upset from the get-go. He uh, ended up with a penalty called against him in the first period and argued his way into an extra two minutes that gave the River Dragons a four-minute power play and then did not play in the third. And now I don't see him out there to uh, warm up for this team. So it's entirely possible that uh, he is not dressed here tonight for this Zydeco hockey team. And uh, unless he somehow manages to come out late, unless they're trying to pull some sort of surprise here, but that just kind of appears to be the case. Could be a potential lineup change to keep an eye on. All right, let's take a break here in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. When we come back, we're gonna take a look 
a little bit more inside the numbers. Plenty of streaks and stats to tell you about, including the impressive season Justin McDonald is having, but a bunch of other streaks that are extending themselves. It's not just the winning streaks, but personally, these River Dragons are setting all kinds of marks, hitting a couple of milestones. We had a couple last night, too, that we'll update you on as well. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way, including that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. And, of course, our chat with River Dragons head coach, Jerome Boom Boom B. Sharp. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hey, sports fan. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless spelling. Wow. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Back on the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining me here. Columbus River Dragons hockey coming up in just a little bit as they wrap up the warm-ups and the boys wearing the blackout jerseys here tonight on a Saturday night. So if you were planning on color coordinating and you haven't left the house yet, uh, tonight is the black jerseys on a Saturday night. Sometimes it's the teal, but not always. And the River Dragons. Going to see if they can make it 15 in a row. And again, this team has not lost a game since the calendar turned to 2024. The winning streak started back on January 5th. That unto itself is an incredibly impressive stretch. Columbus has just been finding ways to win games. They haven't all been pretty, but they've all gone as a W. And that's been the important part. And so here's the thing. When you look at a team that's going so well, and the causes of why that team is going so well. The very first guy I think you look at, you look at Justin McDonald, the streaks he is on right now. He's got a 24-game point streak in progress for himself right now. This is an interesting thing. By the way, that 24-game point streak is a league record for McDonald. All by itself, the 54 points there, if you took away every other game he's played this season and only counted his games in this 24-game streak, he would still be second in league scoring behind Yanni Liarakos. Let's just put that in perspective for you. This streak alone, the 54 points, will put him in second. It's unbelievable. As it is, he does lead the league in scoring. Leads the league in assists. And uh, is just having a monster year this year. He has an assist in 11 straight games. A streak that's going on right now. But it's not just McDonald who's getting it done, although he is clearly getting the attention. But his line mates, Kyle Moore, is having an incredible run right now. 13 games in his scoring streak, 31 points in those 13 games. Moore is just burning it up right now. He is well over two points a game, 11 goals, 20 assists for 31 points in that stretch. And as we look at Ryan Hunter, Hunter has not had a scoring streak going. He's actually had a couple games where he's missed, but if you go back, and count the last, let's see here, 15 games. He's only had two games without a point. 
but it's enough to break up those streaks. He does have points in his last three games, and in fact, Hunter is on a bit of a jag himself now. In the last three games, five goals, six assists, 11 points in those games. Over three points a game for Ryan Hunter in his last three games. So he is absolutely going right now. That line is just almost impossible to stop. But it's not just that line. Austin Doe has himself a nice little tidy scoring streak going. And in fact, he did not record a point the 13th against Elmira. Prior to that, had a seven game point streak going. Now he finds himself with a 10 game point streak going. Eight goals, 18 points in that stretch. His line mate Josh Petrantonio, the captain, has bumped his point streak to six games as Petro has an assist in every single one of those six games. He also has four goals along the way there and a total of eight assists in that stretch. So they have it together right now. And Alexander Jemayev, who's been struggling a little, was put onto that line and in the last couple of games has three assists. So while Jemayev, who is actually the team leader in goals of 24, hasn't put the puck in the net in the last four games, he's at least back on the score sheet after a couple where he didn't appear there. So the River Dragons trying to distribute the scoring, get people going. They're also getting help from the defense. Carter Shinkarik has points in four straight. He had goals in three straight, and then last night picked up an assist in the game, but kept the point streak alive as well. So the, the scoring is coming from different places. And Kirk Underwood, speaking to the defense, had a goal and an assist in last night's game. It's good to see the wealth being spread a little bit for this River Dragons hockey team, and it's absolutely so important for them for the way they want to carry on and continue to find ways to win hockey games. Plus, it's worth mentioning right now that Brendan Colgan is now on an eight-game winning streak as a goaltender. He will get the start again here tonight. But Colgan kind of getting back to the ways that made him the co-goaltender of the year in the FPHL last season. Now, if he can continue that kind of hot play, you know that's going to be a very important part of the equation for this River Dragons hockey team. We saw it yesterday in the first period when he gave the River Dragons several big saves, not just one. First one came a minute into the hockey game on a three-on-one, but it didn't let up from there. And Brendan Colgan, when the game could have been a River Dragons deficit, instead allowed his team to score one and then two and get out of the first period with a 2-0 lead, as opposed to being down or tied. It easily could have been two, three, four pucks in the net, but Colgan was sharp, and I think that that's an important point to make. So the River Dragons are getting contributions from all over the ice right now, and they need to continue to do that. And the other thing is you can't estimate this Baton Rouge Sinico team. This is a team that, let's face it, last night was embarrassing for them, and pro athletes, when they get embarrassed, push back. And they are not wanting to come out and have the same result here tonight. There is personal pride on the line for the Baton Rouge Zydeco. And these guys, to a man in that locker room, I stopped by to uh, have a word with Jake Cox before the game tonight, and I did not get a negative vibe from the Zydeco locker room. They're in there. They're preparing. They're getting ready. The guys did not seem down or angry, or, or they're just they're getting ready. So I think if you're a Zydeco fan, number one, that's a good thing to hear. But number two, it's very important for the River Dragons to realize the mindset of this Baton Rouge team is that yesterday's gone, no matter what it looked like. And now they have another game to play here on a Saturday night. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But I think the first period will be the biggest part of this entire game because the Zydeco are going to come out and they're going to give the River Dragons everything they have once again for 20 minutes. And now the question will be, how does Columbus, A, weather the storm, but then also, B, are they able to play their game, impose their will on the Zydeco, and do what they did last night when Columbus was playing its brand of hockey. They were able to cycle the puck, move it around, get scoring chances, and eventually beat Bailey Stevens several times as it turned out. But again, I mean, some of those were deflections. Uh, they, a couple he probably wants back, and I think that's fair to say for any goaltender on a night like that. Uh, but he made several spectacular saves and, again, kept his team in that first period until things kind of broke loose in the second. So a lot of variables for tonight's matchup. Nothing is a given. Nothing is a given. However, if the Zonico come on to that first period feeling good about themselves, 
buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be a, a very interesting tilt for the following 40 minutes. I think the first period is going to set the tone and uh, be the key, in fact, to this entire hockey game. Probably even the first five minutes. We'll see uh, what we're going to be up against here this evening. So, All right, let's take a break in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. And when we come back, we will get to our Zelmo's zip in out of town scoreboard. And then, of course, we have a chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Boom Boom Bichard. Stay tuned. All that and more coming your way in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. At Beam, we real guests paid for their testimonials. Back here on the Air Force Air Air pregame show, Tom Callahan here with you. And it's time to take a look at our Zelmo Zip In out of town scoreboard here. And Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. On a Saturday, we have several teams that like to get their games underway a little bit early. Six o'clock puck drops across some of the league here this evening. Of course, we're dropping the puck at seven o'clock. But taking a look out at Big Boy Arena, the home and home between Port Huron and Motor City. Motor City won on the road last night. Tonight, the Port Huron Prowlers with a two nothing lead on the road at Big Boy Arena. And that's 20 minutes into that hockey game. So the Prowlers trying to pick up three points on the road tonight. Second half of a weekend series between the Blue Ridge Bobcats and the Elmira River Sharks once again at First Arena in Elmira tonight. One period in the books, Blue Ridge has a one nothing lead after they lost that game last night. Getting ready to go here with us at the top of the hour, you have the Carolina Thunderbirds, the Mississippi Seawolves, and that one will get underway in just a little bit. How about the Seawolves pulling off a 2-1 win over the Thunderbirds yesterday? In that game, it was one nothing, and then within a minute, and I think it was 11 seconds, Mississippi scored twice, took a 2-1 lead, and then shut it down. Didn't allow another goal the rest of the way. Pretty impressive out of Mississippi. And at Watertown Arena tonight, getting underway at 7.30, the late game, if you will, in the league. Danbury is at Watertown. In the National Hockey League, we did have some finals from earlier today, a couple of overtime games. The Kings topped the Bruins 5-4 in OT. And the Oilers get by the Dallas Stars 4-3 in the overtime. Other finals from earlier today, we had the Blackhawks 3-2 over the Senators. This game late in the third is all but a final. Red Wings with a 5-0 lead over the Calgary Flames. And of course, with the NHL trade deadline approaching, one of the teams everybody's going to be watching is the Flames. And Jacob Markstrom, are they going to put the European goaltender on the move here. Rumors have linked him to the Devils. No movement as of yet. Second intermission, the Sabres and the Wild are still scoreless. 
Also, through two periods of play, Predators with a 2-1 lead over the St. Louis Blues. Also a second intermission, the Florida Panthers, now the top team in the NHL and showing it tonight against the Lightning, 6-1 over the Bolts through 40 minutes. 7 o'clock starts tonight for the Caps at the Canadians. The Ducks are at the Maple Leafs. 8 o'clock tonight, the Flyers and Devils are playing outside. That game will be on ABC and ESPN. Jets are at the Canucks. Blue Jackets at the Sharks. By the way, Jets at Canucks is 10 o'clock Eastern. Blue Jackets at Sharks, 10.30. Hurricanes at the Vegas Golden Knights, also a 10.30 puck drop. Then men's college hoops for you. We'll try to run through this one quickly here. And uh, we've got several games coming up a little bit later on, but from earlier today, the three, or I should say right now, the three that are underway. You got number 10, Iowa State with an early lead at Texas Tech. Number 15, Alabama out in front of Texas A&M. And number 21, Virginia leading Wake Forest. All of those are very early in the first half of action. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we will have our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Boom Boom Bichard. And on the other side of that, we're going to drop the puck and get things underway. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a little bit. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change apply for a loan or credit card, we can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Good internet. Get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back to the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, you're coming in off an 11-1 win off the Baton Rouge Zydeco yesterday. And uh, I, I know we always talk about a good news, bad news. You know, there's always something you can brew coming out of that game. I'm sure we can start with, boy, it would have been nice to get the shutout for Colgan in that one. Yeah, that one hurts a little bit. But, I mean, uh, you know, they're bound to get something. I right. Mean, and uh, um, uh, what's the guy's name? Little Rowan, number 22. Uh, speed little guy just comes, you know, kind of buzzing and... Uh, um, I'd like to say a harmless kind of shot from just inside the blue line, but he, he ripped it. Um, and uh, you know what? It, uh, again, when you're when you're skating and you don't really know, and you know nowadays with the with the sticks and everything, um, you know you can you can whip that puck uh, pretty quick without uh, uh, with your feet moving and and without the goalie even know you're shooting it, and uh, you know just cut uh, Cogs by surprise and you know just beat him up high. I actually want to take you back to the first period of that game. Towards the end of the period, four-minute power play, you don't score. And at that point, maybe the Zydeco had a chance to grab some momentum, but you get a late goal, Slahetka, with that shot that goes in from the point. I mean, to me, that seemed like, not that it ended the game by any means, there's still two periods, but boy, that was a, that was a seminal moment. Well, you know what, I think Baton Rouge, I think of Mississippi, I think uh, with with kind of how their year is gone they need something positive to happen you know obviously they kill that penalty um and then you know 
we own them in their end, uh, you know, five man cycle, this and that, throw it up, you know, kind of a, a, a wrister from the point and goes in and that's kind of a backbreaker, I guess, maybe, but, um, you know, give the guys credit. Uh, I mean, give us credit for the way we came. Uh, their goalie, I thought, you know, as far as 11, 11 goals on that guy, I thought he played pretty well. Um, made some big saves early on. It could have been a little uh, quicker, but then uh, um, I looked at I looked at the goals and a lot of our goals that we scored, I'd be screaming, yelling because their guys are have us, but they don't have us. They're standing right beside us. And we got a shot off. Like, I mean, you got to get into somebody and be physical and win that battle type thing. So, um, anyways, uh, good news, bad news. Good news is, uh, you know, I thought we did everything uh, fairly well last night. I thought we defended pretty well. Um, bad news is, I don't know what team we're getting tonight. I mean, it could be, uh, uh, it could be a totally different team that shows up tonight. You know, they, you know, if they come in, they travel all day to get here. You know, bus legs, this and that. I mean. I don't know how much ice time they've had down there, or if they've had any. Not to make any excuses, but you know, my message was let's not let them uh, get into the game at all. It also helps. Yesterday, you got several big saves. Just to go back to goaltending for a moment, oh, no. for Brendan Colgan, he made some big time stops. Yeah, you know what? I mean, we weren't perfect. I mean, and uh, you know, the one offensive zone faceoff down here, we I showed it on video. All my forwards are standing still. I'm like, guys, we need to be active. I need, uh, you know, my inside guy slashing. I need my outside guy on the wall coming over the top. They win the draw, flick it off the glass, and they get a lucky, not a lucky bounce, but, you know, Gowan kind of powers through it, and it's a, all of a sudden it's a three-on-one, and, uh, you know, uh, Kogs comes in with a big uh, pad save, and, uh, you know, it could have uh, changed the momentum of the game with that as well. Well, let's loop it right on over to keys to the game tonight. Knowing that you don't know which side of code you're going to see, where's your focus? Well, I mean, don't know what they're going to do. I know what we need to do. <laughs> we need to, you know, play the play the play the same way. We need to be simple. I mean, we we don't want to cheat and stretch. Uh, we want to, you know, have my wingers low and slow, breaking out, stay on the hash marks, make sure that we're available for for breakout passes. We need to chip and dump and. Uh, um, and make sure that we're kind of protecting the puck because they will, they, they, you know, they do have some guys that put the puck on that. Jay Cox and uh, Little Chirac and the Rowan kid that scored last night. Robinson, they got some guys that can scoot. So uh, we need to eliminate that and um, eliminate turnovers. I mean, at the end of the day, we, you know, we have a really good offensive cycle. Get the puck in, put some pressure on their D and go to work down there. If we don't have a pretty play coming in on our rush, we need to eliminate that turnover, uh, that slide pass or that 50-50 play. I'd much rather have a shot coming from the wall as opposed to a pass going through the slot and it doesn't connect and now it's going back the other way. All right, Boom, thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories, unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams.
Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. month at Zelmo's. All Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck. Pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. And so the introductions complete before the start of tonight's game. So now it's time for a moment of silence brought to you by Christian Television Network and our national anthem performance. And then we will drop the puck and the River Dragons are going to be on the power play to start the game. I'll tell you about that in a moment. The River Dragons, thank you. They are being standing hands over heart in the presentation of our national anthem performed tonight by Dennis. <laughs> Dennis Meredith doing the anthem tonight. I know the boys love it when he's out there doing the anthem on the guitar. Dennis works right here in the Civic Center, and we're always happy to have him out there playing the anthem. And uh, I've had a chance to talk to Dennis about him and his journey with the guitar and 
me being a guitar player too, we just have those conversations sometimes. And, you know, he very, uh, in a real sense, has a connection to his instrument. Feels like it was, uh, it's, pardon the pun, instrumental in helping him turn his life around. And uh, just, you know, a very touching conversation with Dennis. But, uh, you know, a little bit of a story behind the guy who goes out there and just jams it out for us on the national anthem some nights. And we're very proud to have him as a part of this River Dragons hockey family as well. Glad to have you along. River Dragons starting on the power play because of a delay of game penalty against Jake Cox not leaving the ice in a timely fashion for warm-ups. The league has clamped down on that this season, and so it is issued as a warm-up violation delay of game. And so Cox in the box, River Dragons starting on the loft power play. The loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons tickets up for two-for-one cover. And tonight, post-game party with the River Dragons at the loft, 21 and over, please. All right, so that kind of gives us a little bit different look at things here to start things off. And uh, we will get to our referee introductions and our goaltenders and all that in a moment. But we are underway. And the Zonico shorthanded win the draw. They clear it ahead to center. And try to push that one deep. River Dragons. Trying not to let up a shorthanded chance here as Rowan pushing his way in. But the Zonico all over the puck here in the early going. Now Columbus will look to move it ahead. Skating it up is Kyle Moore. Moore in over the line on the right side. Poke checked as he does so, but puck loose in space on the right wing wall. McDonald trying to pick it away. Moore. Well, leave it at the right point to Shinkarik. Shinkarik feeds it across the ice, gets it back up top on the line. And deep into the corner. Now back door. Here's McDonald. Decides not to shoot. Curls on the right boards. Up top, Shinkarik lets it go. One timer and the save there by Stevens. Bailey Stevens back in tonight after giving up 11 last night. Rough night for Stevens, but again, defensively, the Zydeco need to be better in front of him as well. Storja Hunt over one time by McDonald. Just missed on the near side. McDonald near wall. Into the corner, Storja Hunt to McDonald. Uh, just over a minute into the power play. Shinkarik with a shot whistle. Wide came right over to McDonald. McDonald backhand, chip across, tipped away before it got to Moore. Now it's cleared out. Zydeco change. River Dragons will get at least one new man out there. Shinkarik loops right back in. On the right side, he leaves it for McDonald. His feet into the slot, contested to the line, not out. Slahetka holding it in at the left point. Looking, Slahetka over. Storjahan's got room. Near dot, wrist shot, glove save, Stevens. And he'll hold on 27 seconds ago on the man advantage. So, correction, it was not Jake Cox, but uh, Matthias Telstrom, who is in the box. For Baton Rouge. Face off will be to the left of the Zydeco net. Petrantonio winning it back to the point. Shinkarik on it. Move it over to the right side. Here's Doe into the right wing corner. They'll cycle the puck around. Jamaev over to the far side. Petrantonio takes a look. Backhands into the corner. Gets it back. And now slides it down low. Doe cross ice. Or Jamaev had a stick tied up. Puck at the point. No shot left over to the far dot. Petrantonio on it. Backdoor feed broken up by Cox. Puck is cleared. And that's it for the power play. River Dragons dropped to 0 for 1 with a man advantage here after starting this game on the power play. We are back to 5 on 5 hockey. Well, Zydeco dodge a big early bullet here. That's a good one for the confidence. Columbus's power play took a little while to get going last night. They actually were 0 for 3 in the first period on the power play. Did get one a little bit later on. Here's Petrantonio pushing into the right wing side. In behind the net, cutting over after it. And now a chance here as the puck tipped back on the far side. Petrantonio will bank it up to the left point. Not out. Held in. Long shot coming in wide of the net by Duncan. On to the near wing. And ahead up the left wing side. It's brought up by Hansen. Hansen lost it at center. 2.45 into this first period. Scoreless between the River Dragons and the Zydeco. Here's Wickline. On to the left wing side. Now Doe moving ahead as Bersani with him. Looking for him in front. Doe looping it around behind the net. Doe out the near side. Carries into the slot. He's got some room. Wrist shot. Stevens a glove save despite Wickline right there. 3-0-4 gone here in the first. Scoreless between the River Dragons and the Zydeco.
Bersani in there for the faceoff. One over back to the right point now, tipped to Gill. Gill with a wrister, blocked on the way through, didn't reach the net. Zydeco able to clear it out. Here's Gowan moving it through center. And a feed into the slot area. That one turned on goal and kicked away. Allian is out there with Chirac and Gowan on this line. Shot from the point by Aslan is blocked, kicked over to the right point. Bacon keeps it in, but right to Gill. And Gill starts the regroup. Now flipped up the left side of bouncing puck to bounce past Wickline all the way in on goal, no icing. Columbus changing its D. Bach, Will, and Underwood out there together now. Banked on the left side, puck tipped into space. Wickline chasing, can't get to it. Chirac will take it away from him. Cleared off of Sequoia Swan out to center. That's the only lineup change for the River Dragons here tonight. Andrioli out, Sequoia Swan in. No Bazarin in the lineup tonight for the Zydeco. Haven't noticed any other changes in the lineup for them here this evening. A little bit of trouble, and now Underwood loses it, and here's a chance on the right side. Telstrom trying to feed it back across, gets it in front. Colgan the save on the doorstep, and the rebound away behind the net. Boy, the River Dragons forwards just blew the zone there. Everybody was cheating forward, and by the time that puck ended up given up by Underwood, there was nobody really back there to help him except his D partner, Bockwell, and it was an outman situation. Big hit back in the defensive zone. River Dragons do get it out, though. Here's Ryan Hunter attacking up the right side. Behind the net, Telstrom swings it away from Moore, and that one goes out to center. Gill steps up on it, tied up by Cox right in front of the Zydeco bench. Baton Rouge will settle it down. The captain, Edgars Ozelinch. On to the left side to his deep partner, Haskins, off the glass. Bouncer into the Columbus end. Gill on the near side, just past the five-minute mark of the opening frame, scoreless. McDonald back after it. He'll move it ahead, and now three on two developing. Here come the River Dragons. Shinkarik into the rush, moves in over the line, looking back door, gets it across. There's a shot, Stevens save. Rebound in front, Hunter jamming away, and Stevens has it. 5-21 gone here in the first scoreless between the River Dragons and the Zydeco. We'll take a break and come back to the war in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Good internet. Get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Welcome back here on Columbus River Dragons Hockey here in the Chick-fil-A first period of play. Let's take a look at tonight's starting goaltenders. For the River Dragons, it is Brendan Colgan, 14-2-0-1 on the season with a 3.04 goals against and an 8.86 save percentage. He's opposed once again by Bailey Stevens, 0-2 with a 9.50 goals against and an 8.29 save percentage. Of course, Stevens responsible for the 11 last night in that very difficult loss for the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Face off coming up to the right of the Zydeco net. And Baton Rouge will push the puck out to center. Cox will dump it in from center. We're going to get to our referee introductions here in just a moment. As right now Columbus trying to get the puck out of the zone here. And the Zydeco on the left side trying to make something happen. Robinson stretching for it, but it's cleared away. And now Moore out to center. Turned over to Cutting, but into the shin pads. Turned over here's Hunter. Hunter tried to get it to Moore. Could not. And now it's turned back for Jake Cox at center. That'll give me a chance here to bring Taylor Joseph into the broadcast. Joining us once again by popular demand. Taylor, welcome back. How are you? Yeah, no, thanks for having me, Tom. I'm doing well, getting a lot better. So, yeah, just taking it a day at a time and 
We're ready to watch some good hockey. I will say uh, last week to this week, your step climbing seemed improved. A lot better. A lot more strength, a lot more uh, mobility. So it's going It's the right path here. So Absolutely. Glad to, glad to see that and hear that. So River Dragons right now trying to move that puck out. 6.20 into this first period. Scoreless. Here's Jamaif right side in with a backhand. That missed the net. Wraps its way around towards the left point. Petrantonio in. Fanned on it. Zydeco away. Up the right side, here's Hansen. Moving in on the backhand, Hansen slides it in front, blocked by the skates of Slahetka, and he pushed it away to the wall. Doe on it, far side, can't clear it out. Rowan ends up with it, curling back down the right side. Rowan had the only goal for Baton Rouge last night. He's still battling with it. On the dot, wrist shot, Colgan the save. And he gets dumped in behind the net, heavy hit. Puck away to the point. Boy, fans really appreciated that hit right there. River Dragons not afraid to play physical, that's for sure. Brody Duncan delivers more than a few hits, but also Bockwell loves to go out there, drop one. Of course, the captain, Josh Petrantonio. Duncan with another hit on his mind there as he forces a play back out to center. And it'll be dumped in by Aslan from center. And, uh, you know, Taylor, that's one of the interesting things I think about this River Dragons team is, you know, they, they can score goals, but they can play physical too. Yeah, no, there's a lot of guys that aren't shy of uh, tossing their body around. We, um, that's the thing, we play hard. Um, we're coached to take the body, um, not give team space, and it, it, we, we're more effective when we're doing that. Zydeco trying to stretch up the right side. That pass missed and will end up as an icing call. So let's take a quick look at our referee introductions here for tonight's game, brought to you by the Optical Shop. In Phoenix City, we're right now for just $99 and a bag of chips, you can get two pair of eyeglasses. You should see the game they're missing. Tonight, your referee, number two, Corey Fossa, and also number 52, Todd Greenberg, your linesman, number 14, Jeff Marcinek, and number 26, Michael Maxson. Face off down to the left of the side, it goes zone. So, Taylor, as a goaltender, we like to talk about goaltender things, uh, but I want you to put on the skates of Bailey Stevens. You give up 11 last night, you go right back out there tonight. How do you feel? What are you thinking? I think the biggest thing is, and he, he it, it wasn't his fault last night. Like, there's maybe a couple he'd want back, but a lot of it was grade A chances. But I think the thing is you just got to completely reset. And it's new day. Can't worry about yesterday. That's sometimes how the bounces go in a game. You can't control that. Just control what you can control and just bounce back. Not even think about it today. Zydeco looking to move the puck out of their own end. Still scoreless here in this one, as we have played 8-15 into this opening frame. Presented by Chick-fil-A Midland. Turnover at the River Dragons line. Here's Bersani the other way. Bersani has the Cavalry catching up, looking to slide it in front off a skate. It goes the other way and out to center where Bach will, will pick it up. Haskins a little slow to try to get off the ice. Now he's got to stay in the play, though, as it comes right back in. Wick line up top. Bach will shot, and that's deflected wide in front. Ozelinch paddled it away to the wall. And now the Zydeco able to break the zone. They dump it in. Colgan out for a stroll. He'll flick it around the far side glass. Bounces towards a point. Kept in Cox with a long shot. Tipped on the way in and disappears in the gear of Colgan. He'll get the whistle. No good job getting back in the net quick. Uh, you never know what those bounces on the boards there. And he recovered well and got in position, made a good save. I know that, especially for a guy like you who likes to play the puck, you want to be out there. You want to stop the dump ins and things like that. But when you get a, a building like this with tricky glass, tricky boards, how do you how do you make your decision? Do you think about it? Do you have to, you know, say uh, maybe I'm not going to play the puck as much in certain situations? Yeah, no. There's there's certain spots in the boards here that you kind of if it's on the ice, you kind of watch where it's going to be hitting where the point is. Um, it's it's more really just practicing day in day out. Like I, we didn't put practice a lot at the beginning of the year here, and in, in the game I found it difficult to go out and play the puck. But now that we've practiced a bit more, it's a little bit easier to read the bounces. Face off the left of Colgan River Dragons trying to move that puck out. Kyle Moore on it elects to dip behind the net and he'll work his way up the slot, feed it onto the left wing, but into the skates of Shinkarik. He has to double it back defensively here. Stretch ahead, and now McDonald in on the right side. He stops, waits for a little help, dances free in the right wing. Has Hunter with him, try to cycle it back towards him, but ends up with Jake Cox. Cox able to move it out of the zone. Columbus again trying to regroup quickly here, but cutting, stepping up defensively, pushing the puck into the Columbus end, forcing Shinkarik all the way back. And he'll start the rush now. Shinkarik to center. 
electing to dump that one in just over top of the net. River Dragons changing it up. McDonald stays up on the forecheck. Turned over just inside the line. Petron Tony in with a shot and a blocker save there. Stevens put it out of play. Yeah, great position there by Stevens. He's out, out of the top of the crease, cutting down the angle on Petra Antonio there. Great save and um, big one for the team here. Interesting, the difference between do you take the shot at that point because he had help on the left side, had McDonald coming back towards that back post, but elected instead to try to take the quick shot and maybe catch Stevens sleeping a bit. Yeah, no, it's a good shot by Petro there. Um, for Stevens, I think he played that pretty well. You, you can't cheat the back door there because then if that shot goes in, it doesn't look good. He made a right play, good read, and if it does go back door there, you kind of just have to do what you can to get, get the shot, right? So good play on both sides. Petro Antonio puts another one into the goaltender. Stevens holds for the whistle. 9.59 left to go in this opening frame. We'll take a break and come back with more in a moment. First period is brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Welcome back in the Chick-fil-A Midland first period. Tom Callahan here, Taylor Joseph joining me doing color tonight. And uh, we're hoping that Taylor's stay on the IR comes to a conclusion rather soon. Any updates for us? Yeah, um, it's get, progress is really good, feeling a lot better. Just at this point in the season, it's just not rushing back and making sure that I'm 110% before I come back. So that's kind of what we're waiting on here. And so hopefully go into full practice next week and go to, go from there. Now the shot off the faceoff is handled by Stevenson to hold on. I mean, the team right now, 14 in a row. So things are going pretty well for this River Dragons hockey team. And I mean, it's kind of nice. I know you want to get back as soon as possible, but now you also have the luxury of it's not like the team is 0-7 and, and now all of a sudden you need to rush back. So No, and that's that's the point, right? And, like, it's nice. We have a good, pretty decent cushion on the standings there. So it's – Colgan's playing great, and it's – for me, it's just making sure I'm 100%, 110% not rushing back and doing it again. So. <laughs> Absolutely. We don't want any re-aggravation. No. River Dragons fishing the puck out of their own zone. Petra Antonio to lead it ahead on the right side. Here's Austin Doe. In over the line, Doe into space, Jamea back door. Oh, that pass was blocked. He almost had a chance to knock it out of the air. Bacon will try the left side. Puck ahead to center is Rowan. Rowan flips it across, and it's sent in from there by Chirac. Both teams will change it up. Scoreless nearly going here. Wick line at center. They'll swing it across, and now onto the right wing. Bersani in with a drive, and that one deflects off the stick of the netminder. Stevenson out of play. Boy, I tell you what, Bersani, you don't see him wind up like that too many times, but he's got a pretty good shot. Yeah, no, he's, he has a heavy shot, and I, like, we give him a hard time. He's using it more often, but no, he has an effective shot. He can wind it up like you just saw it there, or just quick snapshot. It's, uh, he's, he's a pretty dynamic player with his defensive responsibility as well, so it's high, nice to see him going right now and getting it rewarded for his shots he's putting on net. Zanico able to clear the zone here as they'll push it to center. Aloyan dumping it into the near side corner. It's out up on the near wall. Puck ooh, right to the front of the net off the skate of Bockwell and it slides behind. Pile forms behind the River Dragons net cleared ahead on a diving attempt there and Columbus moving to center. Here's Wickline over the line. Storjahan on the left wing tried to send it deep. Telstrom ends up with it but Right to Storjahan, up near the blue line. He'll backhand into space. Telstrom, rough ride in the far side there after tangling with Bersani. Behind the net it goes. Storjahan looking up top. Couldn't get it to Wick line. He'll try the near side. Storjahan to the right point. Underwood feeds it to the dot. Bersani slot off the skates of Wick line. Right in on net. And Stevens will cover. 
Not what? the worst play. No, no, you never know. Just put on net, but a lot better showing last night than last night for uh, the Zydeco here as well. It's uh, a bit of a closer game, a bit more of an entertaining game. It's tough sometimes those games get away from you early, and then it's a long climb back. But, yeah, it's a much different team we're seeing tonight here. Well, and even talking about it in the pregame show, talking about it with Coach Bichard, just, you know, everybody kind of, what Zydeco team are you going to see tonight? I figured the first period was going to be them giving it their absolute best effort tonight because, I mean, there's there's pride on the line. If nothing else, guys get embarrassed. They want to come back and have a good showing right away. 100%. You're in the same league. Um, there's no excuse for that. And I've been on the opposite side of that once or twice in my life. And it's it's something that you uh, you don't want to let happen again, especially back-to-back -back games. So it's expected we're going to see a better side of their team tonight. Colgan made his save there, and uh, as as he is wont to do occasionally, a little little bit of a feisty guy here and there. Just actually, he's he's a passive aggressive goaltender. Like yeah. he just kind of throws the puck out like he's throwing it to the faceoff dot. Just happens to throw it into the Zydeco forward, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I love it. I know he's he's uh he's calm, cool, and collected. That guy all yeah. the time. It's it's just funny to watch those little things he does. Yeah, and then like like he did nothing. No, just nonchalant. It's a little attitude. I like it. Yep. Side to go at the side of the net here. A jam in front. Colgan got it with the paddle of the stick now. Now Chirac fanned on a shot. Had it poked away. Puck rolling towards the line. Moore can't clear. Stays in on the near side. They bundle up on the half wall. McDonald will slide it back to the D behind the net. Columbus still can't exit the zone, though. Good forecheck pressure there from Robinson. He forced it back behind. 7-11 to go on the first. Scoreless between the River Dragons and the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Final game of the eight-game homestand here tonight. River Dragons on the road next week for three in Motor City against the Rockers. First time we'll see them this year. Here's Sequoia Swan around to the far side of the Zydeco end of things. He's knocked off the puck there. It's sent on to the left wing. Rowan will double back for it. He's watched Petrantonio steals puck in on goal. Petrantonio's backhand forced wide by cutting into the slot. Another chance. Doe is stopped point blank with a left pad. Now Slahetka has it swatted away. Well, Duncan back in plenty of time to recover. Otherwise, it might have been a two-on-one. Boy, Bailey Stevens with a huge point blank save right there. Yeah, I got his feet set quick, and this, that's the key there is getting set and making sure you're ready for the puck. River Dragons keeping it in. Left point slid into the slot for Austin Doe. Doesn't find him. Cleared out through center. Here's Rowan moving ahead and over the line. With a long shot and a glove save, Colgan. He'll hold on to that with 6-12 to go in this first period. Your next chance to, eat Taylor, to meet Taylor Joseph and all the rest of the River Dragons and eat Chick-fil-A Midland will be Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. Come out and join the team. You can get autographs, selfies, and more. Chick-fil-A Midland, Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. Yeah, no, I'm not on the menu. Just, you just are so not. You Chick-fil-A <laughs> is on Chick the menu. Is, though. The, uh, I'll tell you what, I love the kale salad is a sleeper, man. I'm telling you. I love that. You the can't, kale crunch salad. You can't go wrong there. No. I wish it was more in Canada. We have a couple, and it's not enough. Up the right side, here's Wickline trying to bull his way into the corner. And it's taken away by Aslan around to the far side. Now it'll be moved ahead by the Zydeco. Here they come up the left wing. Tipped into the corner. Cox in there after it. Tying up with Bockwell. Robinson in that pile as well. <laughs> Some exuberant glass pounding in the corner. Never dull moment down there. No, that, uh, that's got to be entertaining. Underwood over after, long shot coming in. And now it's cleared back down the ice. Ozelinch on it inside his own end. We used to have a similar, so when I was in Abilene, very briefly, but in the Western Pro League, uh, we had similar rinkside seating where there were bar stools and such, like there are here, the party pits at the Columbus Civic Center. Our guys would hold opposing players against the boards, and the uh, the Texas fans would use the heel of their cowboy boots oh, no. to kick the glass where the player's face was on the other side. I'm sure the players loved the vibration. Oh, our there. guys loved it. <laughs> when we get a penalty call coming up here, it's a holding call. And so when we come back, Zydeco to the power play. We'll tell you about it. 4.51 to go in this Chick-fil-A Midland first period. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. 
I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. Or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Beam, bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. All right, we are back, and the River Dragons are shorthanded. Hunter Bersani into the box for holding. And so the River Dragons, with Bersani in that Abercrombie bonding penalty box, are going to see if they can spring him onto there post haste. Well, actually, two minutes from now. It'd be interesting. I know a lot of fans have asked about the uh, the jailbreak rule, the PWHL, which, by the way, is a league doing a lot of things right. Uh, I really enjoy watching. I got a chance to catch one of their games earlier today. Really enjoying PWHL hockey, and I think it's fantastic that girls and young women have hockey role models to look up to and now nationally televised. But, uh, TJ, I'm going to ask you here in a minute as the Zydeco set up, so I'll let you gather your thoughts about their jailbreak rule. If you score a shorthanded goal in the PWHL, your player gets out of the box. So give that some, some thought here as it's cleared on down the ice. What do you think? Would you do that in pro hockey? I, uh, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I think it's really, it makes the game a bit more entertaining. Um, there's a few odd, odd rules that they have that um, are kind of cool to see if they work out. But, yeah, I find it entertaining, um, kind of deserving if you do score a shorthanded goal that it that happens but um yeah i don't know if it'll come into pro hockey i think it'll be interesting to see how it works out there but it, it does make the game a bit more exciting and then second on on your just having women's hockey like i think it's just it's great for young women out there playing that they have something else to look forward to besides the national team right like the national team they yeah they get to practice with each other a little bit during the year and but there's only 20 23 girls per or 23 women per uh, per country they have to make that team now there's a bit more of uh, opportunity for them and to earn some money at the same time right so i think it's a good thing for the game and um, it's something that uh, th they've probably been deserving of for a while the only thing i'm disappointed about is there's no buffalo team i do miss yeah. i miss the buffalo buttes i thought they had some stellar jerseys as well I Wait, thought those were awesome. You never know, like with expansion and how they, I'm sure they wanted to see how the success of the league went this year to start. And you sure. never know, they, like especially in a market like that where it was doing well, you never know what can come. I know the Ottawa game against Minnesota today was when I was watching and it sold out. Same barn yeah. the uh, 67s play in and they sold it out. That's cool. That's a cool rink too. I don't know if you ever had a chance to go there. It's a really neat rink they got there. It is, it is pretty cool. I've only seen it. I've never yeah. been to it. So right now the Zydeco, 45 seconds ago on this man advantage. Scoreless here in the first three and a half minutes to go. Puck up at the right point. Now fed over for the one time. Telstrom tipped wide. Rowan on the far side wrapped up by Petron Tonio. Cox into the pile as well. Puck out and Gill trying to clear it along. And it's moved ahead into the skates of Doe. Doe will skate it to center. Now he'll push ahead looking for a chance. Here's Austin Doe in. Trying to go through the D and well, might have caught an edge there. Looked yeah. like his skate got stuck. Ended back. up going down, yeah. River Dragons do get a change, and fans are calling for a penalty, but no, I think that was just Doe caught a rut. Three minutes to go in the first. Scoreless between the Dragons and the Zydeco. Five seconds away from Bersani leaving that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. His door opens, and he is sprung. And we're back to five-on-five five hockey. Cleared down by the River Dragons. Will they wave the icing here? No. So we'll get a face-off back in the Columbus end. But a good kill by the River Dragons. Couple of saves there for Colgan there, especially one timer there from Telstrom at one point in that power play. But I mean, the number one penalty kill in the league for a reason between the goaltending and the aggressiveness of the players out there. Yeah, no, we, we have a lot of success there. Every guy battles, lots of good communication. Um, that's key. It's, it's uh, and yeah, to Colgan, he's made some big saves. It's not often that we get outshot in a period. So it's, it's good to see him uh, rolling there. It's crazy to believe that the River Dragons, 85.3% kill at this point of the season. That's just unbelievable. It's just bounced in and held by the Zydeco netminder, Stevens. 
But yeah, that's no. that's massive. Yeah, and it's it's key, and it seems to get better and better as we go on, which is what we want, right? Heading into playoffs, it's so important just for everything to click and to continue to build on that as well, right? So. Now they try to get the crowd going here for this offensive zone face-off as the River Dragons try to grab a little momentum off that penalty kill. They do win the draw. Puck at the side of the net. Now here's Wickline in traffic. A shot. Stevens juggles and he holds. And he also had his bucket come off in the process. Yeah, good positional save through the screen there. Just good positioning. He was able to track down the uh, the, the rolling puck off the, re off the rebound. So really good save there. Good sequence all in all by each team. 2.22 left to go in this first period. Shots are 11 to 10. That is markedly different than it was last night in period number one. And keep in mind, though, the River Dragons didn't actually get on the scoreboard till kind of later in the period to begin with, and then they got that one with a minute to go. But right now, Baton Rouge, as, uh, as Taylor mentioned, I think playing a much better game tonight. River Dragons, though, trying to go to work off the faceoff short side shot, and that one blocked by traffic in front. Ends up with Ozil Lynch. He'll clear it off the glass. Not enough gas for icing. As Duncan back after it, he'll play it across. River Dragons trying to move this one up quickly. Chipped on the right side. Wickline tried to get it back towards Storjahan. Tied up over the line. And now Robinson back for the Zydeco. He tried to step in. Lost it. Now he dumps it in. And Duncan back to get it quickly. Pressured by Rowan on the forecheck. Back the other way. Cutting all the way to the Zydeco line. He'll send it back. That's an icing call. Zydeco trying to sneak a few guys out there. Hey, Gowan's a hard guy to miss. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, no, <he's, laughs> there's no sneaking no. Brian Gowan anywhere. No. <laughs> Maybe Jake Cox could pull it off, but, man, I've seen teams literally send five new guys over the boards just to cause the confusion because yeah. you know you're going to get away with one or two. It brings chaos. You don't know, and something like I think everybody kind of uses, try to use to their advantage there. Yep, River Dragons leave the puck off up top. And Moore tries to slide it around. Maybe a little bit of a design play right there, but unfortunately, Moore kind of stumbled and wasn't able to get a shot away. Now here we have another puck dumped into the River Dragons end, but no icing this time. Bockwell on the left side, getting it across. McDonald off the toe of his stick. Now Cox the other way. Back in for the Zydeco. His shot wider than that as he took a heavy shoulder on the far side there from Nathan Bockwell. Under a minute to go here in the first. River Dragons able to dump it out to center. And Robinson will send it back in. Colgan, leave it behind the net. Underwood on it there, swings it around the near side. 45 seconds to go here in the first. Moore ahead into space, right side. McDonald moving up, stops, waits, looks. Still with it, feeds it in front, and just too far for Bockwell, who cut through the crease looking for it. Hunter up top, McDonald. McDonald over to Moore, far dot. Moore in trouble in traffic, lost it. A little upset that he lost it, so he throws a hit over there. Now we've got some serious glances being exchanged, but back in comes Hunter on the right side. Backhand in front, Stevens, a right pad save on the chance in front as Bockwell went right to the net. Great save, great seal down low as well. Um, that one, it's a tough one for Bockwell to get it up so close inside of the goalie. Um, Stevens did a great job just sealing the post and getting across there. Boy, oh boy, good look from Ryan Hunter. And Bockwell, we don't see him jump often, but that was a perfect time to do it right there. Maybe take advantage because there were several Zydeco players that went over to go talk to Kyle Moore. Moore just stepped out of the zone, kept the play onside, and all of a sudden, odd man rush. Yeah, that's <laughs> staying focused. Ten seconds to go. Zydeco clear the zone into their own bench, however. Faceoff should stay inside, I think. Let's see here. Actually, that one almost got Jack over there in the River Dragons bench, but now nah, he's tougher than that. Take yeah, more than a hockey puck to knock him out. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. That's the one guy. He's, he's good. He's fine. He's a tough man. Face off to the right of the Zydeco goal. Draw one back to the left. Pointers Gill backing up. Four seconds, three. Fed across, went out the other side of the slot. Shinkarik with a shot blocked, and that'll do it for the period.
So the River Dragons and the Zydeco, 20 minutes into this one, are scoreless. Last night it was a two-goal lead for the River Dragons after the opening 20. Taylor, how important was this opening 20 minutes for the Zydeco? It was very important. They needed to just show that they can be in the game. Um, last night was the furthest thing from it, and it was a good bounce back period for them to show. They worked harder, um, more um, more flow as a team together. I think for on the flip side with Columbus, it's it's important not to think this is going to be an easy game. It never is. We get everybody's best game, so it's important just to not take them easy and lightly and think we're just going to win the game automatically. We got to do our job and um, and perform and just do what we got to do to win. I think that's part of the whole idea, too, and the, the challenge of being on a winning streak like the River Dragons are right now is you're looking at each other saying, you know what, we've done this before. We've been doing it a lot. But, and sometimes you don't want to fall into bad habits or, or just think it's easy because it's certainly not, even when no. you make it look that way. No, and that's the thing. It's, it's, it's easy to say when it's 11-1 game last night, guys are probably half asleep towards the end of the game. And, it's um, it's just very important. It's a new day, and it's, you're going to see a different team. It's just important to know that and just be ready for anything and do what you got to do to get the win, right? Absolutely. All right, we're going to take a break and head on into our first period intermission report, which is brought to you by SunSouth John Deere. And uh, we will wrap up that first period for you, plus an extended look at the out-of-town scoreboard. It is a busy out-of-town scoreboard today, not only in the FPHL but the NHL. And college basketball, plenty of games going on right now in men's hoops as we're working our way towards Selection Sunday, so I know a lot of folks are keeping an eye on that as well. Plus, I mean, if you're an SEC fan, it's actually a very good year to be a basketball fan. So, all right, stay tuned. More coming your way. Scoreless after 20 minutes. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories, unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years.
Welcome back here on the Sun South John Deere First Intermission Report. We're joined by Brody Duncan, River Dragons defenseman. Brody, thanks for taking the time to join us and uh, talk to us a little bit about your. All right, we're back live in the Sun South John Deere First Intermission Report. That uh, was last night's chat with Brody Duncan. We will not be replaying Brody from last night. Not that we don't love Brody Duncan, but uh, Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph here. I've got. I've got an even better live interview here with uh, River Dragons netminder, and actually has been joining me to do color for the game tonight. So uh, we talked about the opening 20 here for this River Dragons team against the Zydeco, and Baton Rouge came out and gave it a pretty good push. And actually we had a couple Zydeco fans out there doing a tug of war out there against some River Dragons fans. That's always fun. So uh, we, can, we can appreciate that, and uh, we appreciate the Zydeco fans who are at their watch party here tonight and wanted to give them a special, uh, a special shout out, by the way, if I can actually talk for a moment, to Big Mike's in Denham Springs, where the Zydeco fans are gathering to watch this one. And uh, definitely want to wish a very happy birthday to my nephew, Luke, who was listening in in Buffalo, New York. Happy birthday, Luke. Absolutely. And uh, happy birthday, buddy. I hope that you had a great day today. And uh, but he was so busy today, uh, T. Joe, that he couldn't bother to return my phone call. No, that's so, how old is he? So, uh, let's see. What year is this? Twenty twenty four. I always have to count I this way. So, spot. yeah. So bad. he's hitting like what? Eight, nine. So that's. You got to think about that. That's that's fair. I, he's he's probably busy. I, I'm sure, he has a birthday <laughs> probably party. Probably busy. Are you kidding me? This kid's always going. <laughs> that's but awesome. I, I loved birthdays when I was a kid. So. Oh. It was. I, I always had a tough time because I was always um, August long weekend back in. I don't know if you guys have August long. In we do not. No. Yeah, so we, we have, have Labor Day weekend. Basically, is our last weekend. Okay. So yeah. Part of September. So yeah, in August we have a long weekend right on my birthday. So it used to be. I always had to use, do my birthday usually in July. Um, yeah, it sucked. I remember my birthdays were pretty lonely on my, on the day of because um, everybody was out for holidays. So but we did, we did a little earlier and. I'd always, you know, floor hockey, basketball, it was, it, the party, the cake, it was always amazing. <laughs> that is Simpler cool. times. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's, uh, it's a good time. So, yeah, Luke, I hope you had a great time. And uh, looking forward to uh, certainly catching up with, when I can. But, again, I mean, you know, kids so busy. That's, I understand. <laughs> I understand. But uh, you know what? It's, it's all about having – by the way, speaking of birthdays, I don't know what it is about February 17th. We had a ton of birthdays here at the game tonight. And, yes, I'm going to tell you that you can celebrate your birthday here with the River Dragons, and we can do groups and all that fun stuff. But this, to me, like when I was a kid growing up, if you were saying, hey, you know, Tom, and we couldn't go to a Sabres game because my birthday's in September. So that's, I guess, maybe preseason, right? Yeah. But that would have been a cool way to spend my birthday heading out to a game, I would think. Oh, I'd love it. Like, that's um, – especially when you're a kid and you love hockey, there's nothing better. I remember my first uh, pair of tickets I got. You're just so excited to to go see a game. And, yeah, no, I, I'd, I'd go now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Not really quick. laughs> so. right. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're adults, and we would still go to a game on our birthday and have a good time with it. So did, did you have actual physical tickets back then? Are, are yeah. you of that? Yeah, no, I'm okay. – uh, I, I know the right way. So yeah, that uh, that well. How else are you supposed to have something to put up on your wall and remember the evening by? You know. Yeah. No. Hundred percent. So that's uh, all right. We we might have got off on a bit of a tangent there, but that's all right. We're scoreless through one period of play. Zydeco and the River Dragons, and you know, talking about how important it is for the Zydeco. The Zydeco really the only lineup change they made from last night was uh, no Matthew Basserin in the lineup here tonight for them. Frankie McClendon still not dressed for this team. They're still going with Bailey Stevenson net right now. They did make the trade for McClendon earlier this week, but uh, he obviously didn't make it for this road trip here to Columbus. But now that, you know, the, the Zydeco... Okay, I, I'm going to state the obvious. Probably not going to the playoffs this year. Uh, and, but they're a building franchise. They're an expansion team. We talk about the pride and the things and really playing for jobs next yeah. year. I mean, anyone who faces this team down the line here the rest of the season, this is not going to be a pushover hockey team. No, and it's exactly it. It's, it's jobs at this point. And, and whether guys stay or go, like, they may, they want to put a sh good showing for if they leave and get picked up by another team. And for uh, for Baton Rouge as an expansion team, like it's it's hard. It's not easy uh, coming up with a new team. You're everybody's top players are protected, and and when you yeah, it's hard. And it's just there's growing pains. But I've heard there's nothing but good things about playing there, and the guys enjoy it. And so it's just it's just building a franchise and taking it a step at a time. 
And I will say, having us having been to Baton Rouge a couple of times here at the beginning of the season, I personally miss Town Square Pizza, which I know is a, a Zydeco sponsor, but, man, also a great place for lunch if you happen to be yeah. anywhere near the <laughs> arena. That's a good spot. So, uh, But you know what? The other thing, uh, Taylor, that I was thinking of is player movement in this league. I mean, there are other teams constantly looking to see what guys on a team like the Zydeco are doing or maybe the Blue Ridge Bobcats or some of that. Might not be in the playoff contention, but there might be one or two guys that someone like a Binghamton or a Columbus or a Carolina or somebody who's going to make a run here might be interested in. Yeah, and like I, I believe in this league, you can do loans too. I believe I, I think that's a thing. So you never know um, if for a guy that uh, is, just wants to try to win, he's in his last few years or last year of hockey and wants to win somewhere. It's it's not uncommon for a team to pick up a top guy and um, just try to bolster up their lineup before playoffs. Let's take a break, shall we, in the first period intermission report brought to you by Sun South John Deere. When we come back, it's Ed Zelbo zipping out of town scoreboard, and then we'll get ready to drop the puck on second period action. Scoreless through one, Zydeco and River Dragons. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Lock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Let's go! Set the tone. Kyle, tie your shoes, tie your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic Mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs> And we are back here in the second or first period intermission report. There's Tom trying to fast forward the game again. So brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do. Let's get to our Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard. Zelmo's fueling life's passions since 1999. At Big Boy Arena, the hometown Rockers have rallied to tie it up. And just into the third period, that game is knotted at two. Also tied up at two after two periods of play at First Arena, the Elmira River Sharks and the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Seems to be a theme tonight at the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum. Thunderbirds and Seawolves also tied at two. And because they don't want to play along, the Danbury Hattricks with a 1-0 lead over the Watertown Wolves. That is in the first period. In the National Hockey League, several finals from earlier today. In overtime, Kings 5-4 over the Bruins. Also an OT, Oilers 4-3 over the Stars. Regulation, Blackhawks 3-2 over the Senators. Red Wings blank the Flames 5-0. Sabres win in overtime against the Wild 3-2. Preds top the Blues 5-2. How about the Panthers? 9-2 winners over the Lightning for Hagee with a hat trick. 
Games going on right now. The Capitals 2-1 up on the Canadians late in the first. At the end of one, the Maple Leafs 4-1 up on the Anaheim Ducks. The Ducks only had three shots on goal in that entire first period. At 8 o'clock tonight, the first of two outdoor games. Tonight and tomorrow in New Jersey, the Flyers are at the Devils. And that's an 8 o'clock puck drop, so just a couple of minutes away on that one. Then at 10 o'clock tonight, you got the Jets at the Canucks. 10.30, Blue Jackets on the left coast against the Sharks. And the Hurricanes are at the Golden Knights. Men's college hoops for you. We're going to have to kind of run through this one quickly. Number 14, Illinois, is up by three late on Maryland. Number 12, Baylor, comfortable lead over West Virginia. Five to go in the second half. Number 22, Kentucky, 47-42 over number 13, Auburn. That's in the second half. Number 23, Indiana State leading Southern Illinois at the half. Arizona at Arizona State coming up later tonight. Finals from earlier today, number 10, Iowa State wins. Number 15, Alabama wins. Number 21, Virginia wins a low-scoring affair. Number 17, Creighton beats Butler. Number 3, Houston over Texas. Number 16, Dayton over Fordham. Number 7, North Carolina over Virginia Tech. Number 9, Duke beats Florida State. Oklahoma State beats number 9, BYU. Iowa beats number 20, Wisconsin. Number one, UConn beats number four, Marquette, 81 to 53. Number 11, South Carolina loses by a point to LSU, 64-63. Number six, Kansas tops number 25, Oklahoma. And number eight, Tennessee takes care of Vanderbilt. Back with the second period in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Action Columbus River Dragons hockey. We are underway. River Dragons push right in and try to go get a couple of chances here in the early going. And boy, they try to crowd right in. There's a chance in front bounced off the stick of Moore. And now 
It's taken away in the slot. Roan will push out through center here. Long shot in on Colgan. He'll tip it into the netting. Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph here with you. And well, Taylor, uh, I believe the speech in the locker room might have gone something along the lines of, hey, guys, let's get out there, jump on him, try to put him away. Yeah, no, you can see right off the bat there we came out hard, a little harder than I, th I think we came out in the first period. But, yeah, no, it's a good start to the second here. We just got to continue maintaining that pressure. By the way, uh, I did the math. My nephew's 10. That's yeah, There you go. That's Like I said, that's my bad, putting you on the spot. And yeah, I, I I'm bad with birthdays, too. So. I, I never know how old anybody is. I have to think how old I am sometimes. I have actually misquoted my own age. Hey, yeah. Not on purpose. Like, I just haven't thought about it. I'm at that stage. I don't think about my age either anymore. Yeah, it's like, how old are you? You know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm permanently probably 12, but, you know, <laughs> that's just kind of how it goes. Zynico moving the puck up through center here. They'll cut in on the right wing side. Hanson with a long shot in. My grandmother always used to say she was 59 and holding. I don't mind that. No, that uh, that worked for me. I'll be 29 and holding then. That That's sounds good. <laughs> I'll go with it. Lead ahead by Petrantonio. They're off the skates of Shinkarik. Couldn't come down with a pass. And the Zonica will loop back for it. This second period is presented by WOW Internet. And WOW is proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Tip back into the River Dragons end of things here as they'll try to move it ahead. Here's Storjahan up the left side, up towards Wickline. Wickline in over the blue line, floats it to the right wing side. Shot coming in, saves Stevens, and he'll hold on with a glove. 148 into the second period, still scoreless. Let's take a quick break, 10 seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph along for the ride with us here, River Dragons fans and any Street Zydeco fans that we have tuning us in tonight. And I know the watch party tuning us in as well. We appreciate you all being here. Long shot in on Stevens and he will hold on. Positionally, he's been very sound. Yeah, no, a lot better. Like more closer to the last weekend that he, we played him. Um, very positionally sound. Doesn't for smaller guy doesn't play too aggressive, but uh, it works out for him. He's always in good position. Face off again, coming to his left. One back to the point. Columbus will handle shot coming in with traffic in front. Oh, nice save there on the redirect. Bersani quickly to the rebound. Into the far corner. Watched by Aslan trying to chip it in front. Bacon boots it away to the corner. Here's Wickline on the right half wall, cutting into the slot, leaving it up top. There's a shot save made, and the rebound is cleared not out. Hit Wickline. Left side, Storjahan cycling it towards Wickline. He'll chase Aslan behind the net, but David Aslan able to pull away there and at least get it to center. Columbus quickly trying to move it back in. Bacon tips it to the near wall. Bersani on it there. Aslan to the near side. Bacon in the near corner. Sends it down the ice. They see no icing, so Colgan will come way out. Play it up the near side glass. Tossed out to center. Zydeco on it once again. Robinson takes a pass, moves in. Left side, long wrister, shouldered away by Colgan. Robinson on the rebound. He'll sink lit up top, but Gowan had a stick tied up. And Columbus takes the puck away. Here they come to center, led by McDonald. Moving in, feeding on the right side to Moore. Moore in, back in front of the puck. Oh. He is knocked away to the corner, and boy, heavily into the end wall is Moore. He's slow to get up. Keep an eye on Kyle Moore there as it's dumped the other way by the Zydeco, but Moore staying in the play. Here's Hunter the other way. Pass ahead to Moore. Moore in with McDonald. Left side gives it to him. Into the high slot, that pass picked off and cleared back out towards Gowan. Is Kyle Moore will now head to the bench, and he'll probably feel that one more in the morning. Shot coming in, save Colgan. Rebound paddled away. McDonald there trying to move it out. He's got Petrantonio with him, and now the net comes off, and a penalty in behind the play. And Brian Gowan getting a talking to from Bockwell. Gowan's going to go into the box for the transgression. Cross-checking the call, and you gotta, you got to be careful because there is a very fine line here between standing up for your teammates and then ending up with an even-up call. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you got to be careful. You know, you know Balkwell, he plays with a lot of motion and passion, and he's just standing up for his team. I didn't see the initial play, but I'm sure he had a reason for it. 
Yeah, Box is not shy, and that's <laughs> that's what I love about him. He is not shy. No, he's he's willing to put it out for all his teammates, no matter what. And he's he's always there to protect guys and jump in where he needs to. And that's something that uh, not only with his good defensive ability, he's just able to play that role as well. So the River Dragons on to the Loft Power Play for the second time tonight where they're 0 for 1. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons tickets up for 2 for 1 cover. And tonight, post-game party with the River Dragons, 21 and over, please. Columbus controlling puck in front shot. Stevens a save, and he will cover. A little short side shovel there by Justin McDonald. Yeah, good play, good pass, back, good little give and go. Um, Stevens, just like we said earlier, good position. Not cheating off the post there. It looked like McDonald was trying to get him on the short side, but he didn't uh, bite on that bait there. Now the five out there to start this power play. One back to McDonald. Cross ice. Petra Antonio rolling. Puck and a shot missed on the glove side. Crazy kick came right to McDonald. McDonald up top. Doe right on the blue line. Shot through traffic. Tipped in front. Puck in the crease is cleared away. Doe. Puts it back down low. Bouncer behind the net. Store to Han around the rim. McDonald over after. That's twice that kick has actually helped him out quite a bit. McDonald slot. More corner. Store to Han. Far side. Into the slot. McDonald in the backhand. Now down low. Feeds it up to the dot. More. Store to Han. Rotating to his left. Into some open ice. Back door to the dot. McDonald slot. More. Wrist shot. And Stevens right in the chest. Yep. Good position. Getting through the middle of the net. Taking the angle down. And just good position there. That's uh, sometimes when the goaltender makes that save, that's the quick chest, right? Quick, yeah, no, quick chest. Quick chest. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind those. It's some <laughs> helps you get in the game, I'll tell you that. So. Yeah, absolutely. That, uh, that, I mean, and again, he was a little deep in the net there. I think, I almost think uh, more thought he had less time than he had. Yeah, and you, it, like you, if you're that deep, it's the corners are often open, but it, yeah, just didn't get all of it, it looked like. Clear down by the Zydeco here, 53 seconds of counting to go with a man advantage. Still scoreless here in the second period as we approach five minutes in. Up on the rush, and Carrick in with a shot. That is tipped way out of play. And we will get the whistle here in a break. Well, no, we will not get to the break. We're a couple, couple seconds away from the break. So the face off will stay to the right side of the Zydeco net. Jamaev in for the faceoff. Kicks the bouncer back to the left point to Shinkarik. He'll go across. And there's a shot. Blocked. Comes back up top over Shinkarik. Feeds it right back over to the right point. There's a shot by Hunter. Save made. Rebound in front. is pushed away. Jake Cox will backhand it down the ice. It's getting a little scrambly in front of the Zydeco net. But River Dragons still don't have a goal to show for it. Left that's, a, that's a long possession on the power play there, too. You guys are getting... Oh, there's a shot and a goal right there. How about it, Cody Wickline? Right as we said, I think the PK guys are getting a little tired, and Wickline came down the middle and used the screen and made a great shot there. Wickline but, low to the stick side with the assist for Jameif, and just as time's winding down to that power play, too. I mean, Taylor, that's, that's pretty good timing. Yeah, no, it like like great sustained pressure. It's nice to get the second line, uh, second power play out there with their fresh legs. Um, the Zydeco had guys that have been out there for a while, so it's just capitalizing on that. Time of the goal, 5:21, and the River Dragons break the ice. 14th goal of the year for Wickline. And now let's see which way the game goes from here. That shift after a goal so important for both teams. Columbus pushing right back into the side to go in. Bersani will track it to the far side. Here's the announcement of the goal. Store Jahan up on the left side. Shinkarik now with a five game point streak thanks to that assist. Back on the Zydeco, left side, Telstrom. Backhand in front. And now it's turned away by Columbus. And they could, well, kind of at the end of the shift here. Storja Hahn will dump it in. I was going to say they had numbers if they pushed, but I don't think there was much push left. Swan goes up, throws a hit on Bacon. He'll pursue to the far side. Swan on the puck. Cycles it low for Bersani. He's got Doe on the near wing. Feeds him Doe, quick shot, but he sent it wide. 
Down for the right point, crashing. Slahetka able to hold it in momentarily. Puck to the line and now out. Telstra moving ahead. Zydeco likewise looking for a change. Is Duncan with a heavy hit on Telstrom. That's the second time in the game that number six has gone boom on the boards. He's taking a beating tonight. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you got a bullseye on you. Here's Jamaev up the left side and wide. Tried to send it in front. It was tipped and a nice catch by Stevens. That'll get us to our first break of the second period. Seven minutes in. River Dragons have found the score sheet. 1-0 on a power play goal by Cody Wickline. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. The energy for your dreams. And we are back in this second period. River Dragons with a one nothing lead seven minutes into it. Second period action presented by WOW, proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! I know some folks on the YouTube side were asking about our mailbag, so I, uh, I talked to uh, T. Joe in the break, and Taylor and I said, yes, we're going to take questions tonight. We're going to do the mailbag. I'll give you the text your question in in just a moment, the number, and uh, keep in mind, please give us your name, number one. And uh, number two, best question of the night is going to win a fan prize pack. I know there are a couple of fans I'm still trying to reach out to uh, to get in touch with for the packs, but a couple have been picked up. Here's Jamea for the slot. Quick shot, save Stevens. Rebound, Doe. Can't get it to go. Puck to the right point. Slahetka holding it in. He'll drive on the right side into the corner. He runs into Cox over there. They tie up on it. Puck centered. It ends up caroming over to Petrantonio near side. Feeds the slop, but the puck bounced out over Jamaif. And now here's Cox quickly up the left side. Looking for room, leaving it off. A backhand by Chirac. Pinball back up top shoulder save. Colgan. Rebound to the left point. Rolling puck kept in there. And it's sent back to the near side. And it'll wrap its way all the way to Austin Doe. Doe exits the zone. Left side gets it up to Slahetka. Columbus will go for the change. Eight minutes into this second period. One of the River Dragons. Power play goal for Cody Wickline. Puck tipped down by Robinson. Dragons back after it. Zydeco going wholesale on the change. McDonald tied up in the neutral zone, right in the referee's crease, feeding it back to Duncan. Duncan passing it back. Now it's chipped down. And on the left side, here's McDonald working his way into the Zydeco end. Try to put it in on goal. That one is chopped away. Might have hit Ozelinch on the way through. And now back the other way. Aloyan. Up the right side, he'll carry it in with a shot right into the chest of Brendan Colgan, and he will hang on. So in the second intermission, get your questions in now because as I've told you before, sometimes it does take time to populate uh, because it is a, a text your question in. 844-987-4456. 844-987-4456 is the number, and that uh, will get you to our mailbag segment here. And the best question, and... Uh, and Taylor and I will judge the best question as a team tonight. Yeah, we'll have a little vote. We'll have a little vote. We'll, we'll have a little vote. Who breaks the tie? We'll have to figure that one out. But, uh, yeah, it's always fun. Always fun to get the questions in there. We enjoy it. We love hearing from the fans. We encourage the Zydeco fans as well. Gil just encouraged one of the Zydeco to the ice with a good shoulder on the near side. And uh, the hitting's oh. picking up. Oh, Roan with a hit from behind on Wickline. Here we go. Yeah, Rowan's going to answer for that one right away. Shankarik jumping in. Now we got another tangle, Ozelinch. And Ozelinch throwing shots from the ice in a seated position. Got a couple of punches in, but Shankarik jumped on Rowan right away as Wickline got blown up in the numbers. That was the initial penalty. And now it's boiling over a little bit. 
great job by Shin Carrick there jumping in for a teammate. You never want to see a guy get hit from behind like that. And, no, that's that's part of the game. That's what you got to do with a good response there by him there just to defend his guy. So Roan was going to pick up the two initially for checking from behind or boarding, depending on which way they call it. But we're probably going to get, so it'll be Rowan and Ozelinch is heading into the box as well. So then for the River Dragons, it's going to be Shinkarik. And hopefully Gill's okay. Just saw him go down to the dressing room and hopefully get an update there just to make sure he's good. Gill is the one who is tied up with Ozelinch, who threw the punches at him from the seated position. I'm not sure if Gill's going to pick up a penalty for that or not, or if it'll just be extra on Ozo for the punches, but I guess we'll find out here. Bare minimum, we knew there was a power play coming for Rowan. I imagine it's going to be or two and five probably there. And, of course, I'm writing with a pen, so it better come out that way. But I can always uh, yeah, scribble stuff out later. And do you wonder if, like, with Jim Carrick going after him there, if that, if that evens he it out the or two, what, yeah. the two just for the instigator? But yeah. you never know. It's kind of rest discretion there. But then the other part of it, so and so it looks like they're going to tell Shinkarik he's out. So yeah, instigator for Shinkarik. That might be a game. Is that a game? Yeah. yeah. So if he gets two, five in a game, fans don't like it. But now the question is, what does Ozo get? He's in the box. Ozo Lynch in there, and he instigated that one there with Gill. I don't think Gill was looking for no. A fight Gill there. Gill was just trying to wrap him up and keep him from getting into the into the conflict and then I will the fans I, uh, yeah well, the fans here about it fans uh, not big fans <laughs> or they are big fans but they're River Dragons fans I get it it uh, I will say this when a guy steps in for a teammate like that look I'm not a fan here's what I don't like here I'm on my soapbox we got time um I don't like when a guy throws a clean hit and then there's a fight because of a clean hit. I don't like that. Take no. a number. Yeah. Get that guy back. But and that's old school hockey, right? Okay, 17 got me. Now I will find him at some point. Yeah. And Ozo is being escorted out. So he may have picked up some extra there. But I will say this. So I, I don't like that. Clean hit. I don't think you should have to answer with a fight every time because I think it discourages hitting, yeah. which is part of the game. However, when your teammate gets blown up. It's a I, different story. It is a different story, and I don't think that's a situation where you should call an instigator. No, and, and, and like getting back to your point about like a clean hit, I guess from being in the game, it's more situational. If it's an intense game or it's a close game or a guy's taking liberties all night and you never know. <laughs> Part of the, so much of the emotion in the game kind of dictates how that goes. So, and you, I mean, look, it, and maybe it's easy for me from up here because I could see the <laughs> whole ice at once, right? But you can tell, yeah, when a guy is instigating a fight. For the most part, you yeah. can tell when a guy's trying to get another guy to go. Shinkarik, of all people, is not running around no. trying to get somebody. And Rowan right now only has the two up there. shinkarik has got five on the board. So if they don't give Rowan a fighting major and they give five in a game to Shinkarik, that's backwards. That is. And he he was willfully fighting there. He dropped his glove. He was, he was going. Shinkarik might have instigated it, but he was willing partner. So that's it. I'm interested to see what happens there. Petro Antonio doesn't look too happy down there. Well, the ref's explaining it, but, yeah, we'll, we'll hear more about it here so shortly. Wow. Now this, they have the numbers wrong, if this is the case. Gill's coming back on the ice. That's good to see. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. They have they have their combatants mixed up. If if our score sheet is right now accurate, because Ozelinch and Shinkarik got misconducts, game misconducts for fighting after the original altercation. That's not right. That's, yeah, that's wrong. So that should be, if anything, that should be Gill and Ozelinch fighting after the original altercation. And Shinkarik should be back. They have their numbers wrong. This is just a blown call. By the way, Rowan does have a fighting major on there, and he is going to end up with the two. So the River Dragons do go to the power play here. 
on to the loft power play for the third time tonight. It is a five-on-four power play, but I think the refs got it wrong. I, well, I know they did. No, they right point here's Doe trying to keep it in, but they, they throw the wrong guy out of the game. How do you miss that? That sucks. How that do you <laughs> miss that? <laughs> that's not, uh, that's not ideal. There's four guys wearing zebra stripes on the ice. How do you miss that? Store Jahan in on the right side. He'll feed McDonald at the right half wall. Up to the right point, here's Doe. Doe with a rolling puck back across to the dot. There's a shot that's blocked by traffic in front. Petra Antonio on the near side with it. He'll leave it off into the near corner. Moore try to feed it across, hit a skate. McDonald will recover on the right side wall into the slot to Moore. Try to shot blocked and cleared out. They, somebody's got to fix that. Yeah. Although I think it's too late. Gill's back on the bench. I don't even think he's in the box right now, although he should be. <laughs> Petra Antonio feeding it ahead left side into the corner. Here's McDonald. McDonald looping beyond the Zonico net. Puck up to the right point to McDonald on the right half wall. To Doe. Doe with a wrist shot blocked in front. Rebound chance. Petra Antonio stopped by Stevens. Great stop. Just always in position. Always in position. Not too not too aggressive, but in the right play space. Like, yeah. Just like there again. Jamming away in front. Jamaev can't get the backhander to go. And that is held on to. We'll get to a timeout here. Nine and a half minutes to go here in the second period. One of the River Dragons. We're back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Okay, so while we're at break, the calls are changing. So now Shinkarek gets a fighting major and an aggressor game misconduct. Boarding minor against Rowan. And I imagine he'll get a fighting major in there. And then an aggressor game misconduct against Ozelinch, but no other penalty. And is Wouldn't he have had to have gotten five for fighting to get an aggressor? Yeah, no, that and I don't even see someone serving a penalty for Rowan so he might be back in two minutes which doesn't make too much sense. I do. You got me. Anyway power play continues for the River Dragons. 18 seconds left to go. They lead 1-0 here. Jamea in behind the net trying to move it free and now we're jamming right in front. Oh again Stevens on the goal line making a big save. Boy he's keeping this team in the game right now. Yeah. No 30 shots to 16. Um, like I said earlier Baton Rouge is a lot better tonight but um, the second period Columbus just came out flying and is continuing to go here that way. Jamaev in for the faceoff here, and it's into the corner. Try to pick it out. Wickline over there with the power play is coming to an expiration here. Rowan set to come out of the box, and we go back to five on five. Columbus drops to one for three with a man advantage. It's puck cleared to the line, and it is helped out of the zone. And so the River Dragons now will reset the lines here when they get a chance. They dump it back ahead. Underwood is up on the forecheck here. Forcing cutting behind his own net, tying him up. Puck free of the near side. River Dragons on it. They tried to feed it to the point. That hit Telstrom, didn't get around the wall. And now it's out to center. Hunter slides free of a check. Underwood in. Hunter right side, has room. Wrist shot, tipped on the way through and deflected to the corner. Now coughed up in the high slot. Bach will challenging, and he's able to keep it in, turning his wick line to his right with a wrist shot. And that one missed on the stick side. Maybe looking for a deflection there from Bockwell. Fed back up the boards. Left point, Bockwell. Traffic in front, save Stevens, and he'll cover that rebound. That was a tough pickup. A lot of bodies in front of the net there. 
Face off to his right. As you mentioned, I mean, it's, you know, two to one shots here, 30 to 16 right now. That one will probably be number 31 when they put it on the board. And Columbus is, is absolutely pushing. Same thing they did last night. Now, eventually, the dam did burst. But it hasn't so far here. That one is cleared to the left point, and now out it goes. Moving ahead, here's Chirac up the right side, chasing a rolling puck. Nice job by Slahetka to really keep him from even trying a shot. Robinson in the corner, pinned up on the wall by Duncan. And now a fan on clear, turn right back towards the net, but Cox fired it high. And the puck bouncing on that near dot. Ends up with Robinson, a shot. That one is wide to the far post. Duncan on it. They'll use the boards and just jam it out of play, actually. 7.41 to go here in the second. It's interesting, too, the offense for this River Dragons team in the last five games, they've scored 41 goals. Is that good? <laughs> it's pretty a, good. <laughs> it's above average. Yeah. No, they, like, like I, there's guys firing at all cylinders here that just continue to pick up their game. Um, you see Austin Doe, he's multi-point nice. McDonald's doing his thing, that line. There's a lot of contribu contribution from everybody, so it's really nice to see. Yeah, the uh, the depth is obvious, and even defensively, I mean, you know, Shinkarik picked up an assist before he picked up his game misconduct, so his scoring streak continues on to five games now. Here's Hunter moving in over the line. Hunter in the high slot, tied up, tried to shovel it towards the net. Clearing attempt is stopped just inside the line by Chirac, but he's got room here. Feeds a pass ahead. Cox tips it in over the line, but it's sent right back out. McDonald into space. Here's Moore up with Hunter. Moore right side. Wrapping it around behind the net. Kyle Moore had it roll off his stick. Robinson back the other way. Now Karam's to Hunter. Hunter backing up in the high slot. He's got room. Walks it in front. A shot saves Stevens and no rebound. Yeah, he'll, he's going to be upset about that one. Lots of They just kind of sat back and let him walk in the slot. Can't ask for a better chance, but no, good save. Just it looked like it, the puck was rolling on him at the end there. Looks like we've had a lot of that tonight. Rolling pucks have been uh, a bit of a bugaboo, I think, for both teams. You can tell when the pucks are freezed before the game or like putting the freezer in freeze versus uh, when they're just taken out because the puck's rolling all the time when they're not frozen. And now Brody Duncan is heading into the locker room area. Looks like a skate issue there. Yep. Face off will be to the right of the side of code net. 6.54 to go here in the second. Tied up on the dot. Ends up in the corner. Petra Antonio there. Chips it in front. Doe tried to bat it out of the air. Jamea turns it on goal and a right pad saved by Stevens. Back the other way. Here come the Zanico trying to drive it. Boy, look at Bockwell. Just, I mean, so good with his gap control and just gaps up there. Turns it over. Now two on one the other way. Jamaev moving in. Petra Antonio. Jamaev in and a glove. Save Stevens oh. at Jamaev. Is knocked down into the wall after the play ended. It's a little slow to get up over there, and the referees get in there quickly, but Wayne well, got tangled up there with the Zydeco defender and went in pretty heavy. Yeah, no, that's dangerous there. It's, it wasn't intentional, but anytime you lose your, your footing going that speed into the board, it's, it's, it's scary. You never know. Happy to see him up and feeling good there, it looks like. Now, Jamaev is one tough customer, I know that much. But boy, oh boy, he gets some speed going on that left side. Puck at the left point, kept in by Bockwell off that face off. Here's Wickline, he's got a little room. Try to walk it down low. Puck is bunted into the corner, Bersani. Far side, Wickline on the backhand. Far side, half wall. Try to turn back down the boards. Into the slot for Storjahan. Now here's Bockwell cutting in front, but the pass is taken away and cleared out. No icing. Slahetka back after it, watched by Gowan on the forecheck. He'll use the net and slow that train. Lead ahead on the left side. Bersani into space. The puck off of Wickline. In over the line. Bouncer there, and now it's stolen back. Storjahan. Wickline, nope. Offside, they say. And that offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E.com. Book your next appointment online in advance. You can also book online 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. 
And, uh, again, I was just in there the other day. I was talking to Sherry as she was cutting my hair. She said they're already booked up two weeks out. So if you need to get in, please make sure that you make your reservations in advance. Oldschoolbarbershop.com. Haskins up the left side. You know what I love about that, though, is once you sign up and you get your booking in the system, they send you little reminders, which I desperately need. I'm the same way. I, if I don't get those reminder tests for doctor's appointments, hair, anything, it's probably missing it. McDonald up the right side, two on one now in with Hunter, and a shot blocker saves Stevens as he took away the top corner. Really good save there. It almost looked like he thought he was going to pass, but he got the blocker on it, and great save overall. There's a pass the other way. McDonald tips it down, good hand eye, no icing. Hunter into the right side corner after it takes the bump, lets it free to Moore. McDonald in the slot, shoveling towards the net, deflected wide. Hunter on the left side to the left point. Gill quickly back down the rim. McDonald back to the left point. Gill. Gill swings it back near side. Hunter, and that one is picked off. Hanson moving it along. Hunter trying to keep it in, wins the battle. Here's Moore, left side, looking into the slot. Kyle Moore. Kicks it behind the net. Out the near side. Looking back door. Hunter had a stick tied up there. It ends up with Jamea on the right side. And now Moore trying to bull his way in front. Poke check and the puck right to Stevens. He'll hang on. 4.28 to go in the second. One of the River Dragons in the lead. We're back with more of the WoW Internet second period in just a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. All right, Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph back here with you. This second period presented by WOW Internet. 4.28 to go here in the second stanza. Shots 36-17 in favor of the River Dragons, but still 1-0 Columbus on that Cody Wickline power play goal. I've kind of given up on sorting out the penalties here from earlier on, but just know that if you're just joining us, Carter Shinkarik and Edgar Zozalinch have been kicked out. There's a shot coming in. Oh, boy, deflected in front. Stevens still made the save, and now Robinson is hurt. I think the follow through of Petrantonio shot, I think the stick rode up the shaft of Robinson and caught him in the face, which is not a penalty on the follow through of a shot, but is unfortunate. No, yeah, that, that sucks. That doesn't feel good. Nice to see him up there. Hopefully he has his teeth. Well, he's, he's not even coming off the ice. He's okay. And, you know, trainer went out to look at him, and he's like, nope, nope. That, and now they're sending him off because when they blow the play dead for you for an injury, you have to come off. But, uh, yeah, man, tough customer, man. Noah Robinson right there. Face off to the right of Zanico net. One back, Petrantonio, quick shot, tipped out of play. So now if Robinson wants to come back out, he can, and he will. 4.17 to go in the second. Wick line, the power play goal, the only goal of the game. It's one nothing. Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph. Don't forget, we'll have the mailbag coming up here in the second period intermission. I'll give you the number again in just a moment. Puck at the left point kept in Bockwell. Petrantonio trying to tip into the right side. Here's Doe. Doe looking cross ice. Bockwell chases into the corner. Down for the point. He'll push around behind the net. Rolling puck. Cycling it back towards Doe. Doe looking up top. Chipped right across the goal mouth. And Jemayev just couldn't quite get contact. Now Bockwell long shot in and a glove save. That one is held by Stevens. Columbus keeps pouring the shots on goal, that's for sure. So we'll do the mailbag in the second period intermission. Get your questions in now, 844-987-4456 is the number to text your question. Along with your name to the mailbag, we'll, uh, Taylor Joseph and I will pick the best one, and you'll get a 
Ignite Sports Prize Pack. Again, 844-987-4456. Get those in now here because, as I mentioned, it does take time for those questions to kind of populate on the list. And, you know, if you try to do it during the segment, odds are we're not going to see it. Puck cleared out to center. Here's Telstrom. He'll move it ahead onto the left side, hooks it back, and oh, there's a nice hit by Bersani separating the man from the puck as he put the shoulder into Rowan. That was a good solid hit. He just tracked right up on the chest, bopped him off the puck. Storjahan, wick line, trying to get to it. Haskins tipping it up the near side. Here's Telstrom. Away on the right side. Telstrom in over the line, feeding the slot, and it rolls away from Rowan. Telstrom picks it up. Left wing, feeding it in front. Bouncing puck in the slot. They battle over it. Ends up on the near wall. Telstrom up top. Had it poked off a stick and out of the zone. Zydeco trying to push back in here. 1-0 is your score. And this has been a back and forth game here. Although there's a shot in that is tipped just wide in front. Gill after it. And now we get a little chat but no fight. Looked like Storjahan and Hansen talking it over. Now up the left side, here's Storjahan breaking in. Curling tried to get a shot away as he was knocked down to the ice, and that's going to draw a penalty. Cutting is going to go to the box. They're going to call it a hook. With 2.37 to go in the second period. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm a little surprised by that. Yeah, it looked like his feet were moving and maybe interfered with the shot there, but yeah, no, it's... Uh Another power play for the River Dragons here. Hopefully you see them capitalize. And so the River Dragons back in the law power play. 17-23, time of the penalty. River Dragons one for three with a man advantage. The law features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover. And tonight, post-game party with the River Dragons. 21 and over, please. Columbus starting with possession. Here's Petron Antonio. Up top, moving it over, shot coming in, save made, and the rebound to the corner, Doe over after it to Storjahan. He'll leave it for McDonald on the right side. Here's McDonald in with a wrist shot and a save made by Stevens. Well, you can feel like maybe McDonald trying to pick it up a notch right there. Yeah, no, he's uh, sure the point streaks in the back of his mind, I'm sure, like any, any of us would. Um, He's, he's definitely buzzing around the ice in the offensive zone, this shift, and we'll see if they can capitalize here. Minute 36 to go on the man advantage. Columbus wins the draw. McDonald at the right point. Down to the right side with it. Cutting across, feeds Petrantonio. Whiffed on the one time. He'll collect it off the dasher. Try to feed it in front. That was blocked, and now golf down the ice. And now the puck just played into space there, almost a giveaway. River Dragons do recover to at least maintain possession, but now they'll move it ahead. Left side, here's Doe moving in, has McDonald. Chance in the slot. Storjahan scores! Alex Storjahan picks the top corner on the glove side of Stevens for a power play goal, and it's 2-0 River Dragons. That shot was labeled. Uh, it went in as went in so quick that it came out so fast as well. It was a great shot, great one-timer, great placement there. Good job for Swordman there. You couldn't have placed it any better. No. I mean, no. that was wired into the corner. What a fantastic shot. Quick release from Storjahan. That is his 15th goal of the season. 18, 19, Time of the goal. River Dragons will attack on the left side. Here's Duncan trying to move it in front. Backhanded up top. Zonico will take it away. Veteran Tony and Doe, the assists on the goal. Here's Swan in with a shot. Oh boy, he was hunting high. Just put it over the crossbar. Uh, maybe the word's gone down the bench a little bit. Hey, let's try to pick a corner here. Yeah, no, Stevens is really good down low, so definitely uh, the key is to go up high on him. And icing. Whistled down there with 58.2 seconds to go in this second period. River Dragons up 2-0 on the Zydeco now. A couple of power play goals here, Wickline and Storjahan in the second period, and that's been the difference. And 
So now Doe extends his personal point streak as well. That one reaching 11 games. Puck tossed out to center here. Zydeco chase it back. And they'll chip it back in. Duncan into his own end. Play it around the glass and right back out. Haskins leaving it off for Chirac. Chirac will step in over the line. Get it to the left side. Cox into the high slot. Robinson walking down the slot with a shot save. Colgan rebound. Colgan again the save. And he had it long enough to get a whistle. Really good save by Colgan there. Great position on the first shot. Not only the first shot, but the rebound as well. And then was able to smother it out. You know, a point I was going to make before the power play happened, and it's funny, I was trying to remember what it was, and now it reoccurs to me. And now even though it's 2-0, this game is still pretty tight and is really one breaker bounce away from the Zydeco really feeling like, hey, not only are we still in this, but this is a winnable contest. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. Two, goal game, two goals is uh, worse lead in hockey, and it was a great save, especially they're trying to bounce back after that goal, and it was great. Great opportunity there for Colgan to make the save and just keep the guys uh, head up by two there. River Dragons do move it out. 20 seconds left. They'll try to attack here. Long shot in. Stevens will paddle it aside as opposed to cover it. Jamaev trying to battle it in front of the net. And now away come the Zydeco. Chirac leading it up the left side. And that's offside at the line. Whistled down with just 5.5 seconds to go as Cox just failed to hold up. Offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber. S H O P P E dot com. Book online anytime, plus 24 7 through their Instagram and Facebook. If your sides are a little off, book your next appointment today. Dragons will win the draw, carry it back, and run out the time of the period. And so 40 minutes of play in the books here. River Dragons, 40 minutes in. It got a little feisty there at one point, and we had a couple ejections. Shinkerik and Ozelinch booted from the game, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's it's calmed down a little bit, but really, if you're the Zydeco, even though you're down 2 nothing here, the goals you've given up have been on the power play, and they didn't have a ton of shots that period, but I don't think they feel like they're out of this one by any stretch. No, I think um, it was a few weekends ago we were discussing it was either going to be a blowout or a close game, and it's a similar tonight. It's We're letting them hang around. We have 43 shots, only two goals. Um, Stevens is playing well, but for, uh, for the key for Columbus here is just to get the next one, capitalize, separate it, and then you'll kind of maybe see the the, um, the floodgates open, right? So. Well, that's the hope. That's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> There's always uh, the alternative where Zydeco get the next one. Now we're in even more of a game, right? So, no, it's just important for it's for both teams. That there's an opportunity for this game. It's still still in hand here. All right. Well, let's take a break, and when we come back, it'll be time for our second period intermission report. We'll wrap up the scoring, and we will take a look back at the period. The Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard, and we're going to do a mailbag segment as well. So stay tuned. There is plenty more coming your way. Two nothing River Dragons after two. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, 
Our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Shh, shh, shh. Get low, get low, get low. 369, ooh, she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wild, to the wild. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Back on Columbus River Dragons Hockey, Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph here with you in the second period intermission reports. And right now the River Dragons which, by the way, the second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. The River Dragons with a 2-0 lead. Both goals in the second period, both power play goals for the River Dragons. At 5-21, Cody Wickline from Alexander Jemayev and Carter Shinkarik. Power play marker number one and number two came at 18-19. Storjahan from Petrantonio and Doe. So the River Dragons right now two for four on the power play, two for three in that period. Zydeco did not have a power play chance in the period. Shots in the period were 31-10 in favor of the River Dragons. 31 is a single season period high for the River Dragons. 26 was the previous high, and it's now 43-20. But, T. Joe, they're still hanging around. Yeah, the side to go right there. Yeah, no, like, it, great start to the period. We, we noticed that right away, um, just off the bat, especially when to start off in the second with the power play. It definitely um, helped bring the momentum, but, yeah, no, the lo like Stevens is playing great for the Zydeco right now and it can go either way we get a quick one and then the gates could open just separate the lead a bit more but at the same time like the Zydeco it takes one shot to be back in the game so it's it, they're they're hanging around they're um they're playing a little bit more responsible I wouldn't be surprised if we see it open up and they start to stretch guys just to see if they can get us uh um just see us or sorry get us um being stagnant I guess and just watching so Let's take a look at the Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard here as we go through a couple of finals in the FPHL tonight. The Motor City Rockers, 4-3 winners in overtime against Port Huron, so they get both halves of the weekend set and get five out of a possible six points. The Elmira River Sharks, 4-2 over the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Watch out for the River Sharks. They're starting to heat up. And now at the end, oh, just at the end of the game, the Carolina Thunderbirds nip the Mississippi Seawolves 4-3 to earn a split on the road. Carolina claiming the victory in that game. Danbury is up 5-0 right now against the Watertown Wolves in Watertown Arena. That game is just barely into the second period. There must have been a bit of a delay there trying to get into that second period. Boy, that, uh, well, actually now, correction, is 5-1. Watertown has scored but still pretty early in that second period. That's that's interesting. There must have been some kind of delay there. All right, NHL overtime earlier today. Kings 5-4 over the Bruins, also an OT. Oilers 4-3 over the Stars. Blackhawks beat the Senators 3-2. Red Wings 5-0 over the Flames. Sabres 3-2 in overtime over the Wild. Preds 5-2 over the Blues. Panthers 9-2 over the Lightning. And towards the end of the second period, Caps and Canadians tied at 2 after two periods of play, the Maple Leafs are up on the Ducks 8-1 to one now. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Devils in the outdoor game tonight. An early 2-0 lead in the first period over the Philadelphia Flyers. 10 o'clock start. You got Jets at Canucks. 10-30. Blue Jackets at Sharks. Hurricanes are at the Vegas Golden Knights. And in men's college hoops, it's a packed day. 
And let's go through quickly. The only game that hasn't tipped off yet, number five, Arizona, hosting Arizona State tonight at 930. Otherwise, late in the second half, number 23, Indiana State, trails Southern Illinois, 68-67. Finals, number 10, Iowa State beats Texas Tech. Number 15, Alabama over Texas A&M. Number 21, Virginia over Wake Forest. Number 17, Creighton beats Butler. Number three, Houston over Texas. Number 16, Dayton over Fordham. Number seven, North Carolina over Virginia Tech. Number nine, Duke knocks off Florida State. Number 19, BYU loses to unranked Oklahoma State. Iowa beats number 20, Wisconsin. Number one, UConn knocks off number four, Marquette. LSU beats number 11, South Carolina. Number six, Kansas takes care of number 25, Oklahoma. Number 14, Illinois beats Maryland. Number eight, Tennessee over Vanderbilt. Number 12, Baylor beats West Virginia. And number 22, Kentucky beats number 13, Auburn, 70 to 59. Taylor Joseph and I will come back here in just a moment, and we will get to the mailbag here in our second segment of this Shredaway second period intermission report. 2-0 River Dragons after two. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 seven. So come on in for nonstop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I-85, exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. back for the second period mailbag here in the Shredaway second period intermission report. Um, you know what? We're, we're going to have some fun with this one tonight. And I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, who chips in and participates because we really do appreciate you uh, being a part of River Dragons Hockey. And you know what? Fans, we love it. Thank you so much. Um, so we're going to start tonight um, with uh, 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 this one is fun. So if you and I is this the one you're laughing at? No, it's not. not. Okay, okay. I will get to that one. But if you and I both dress and go shot for shot against each other, shootout style, who comes out on top? Signed, Carol's Enforcers. You and I, Tom? Yeah, you and me. If we go, if we both pad up and we go, I mean, we might reach the 112th round. I don't know. If you, but you and I can both shoot the puck. That's the thing. It's you got some experience on me, though. Years of experience. So I don't know. It, did I did I get a pregame nap? Did I did I prepare? For, uh, I'll give it to you, Tom. I'll give you that one. No, you know what? I I feel like you might have me on the speed, uh, but I got some tricks up my that's sleeve. That's what I mean. I, yeah. that's experience. Yeah, I got some tricks up my sleeve. So, it, but it, it might go deep. I'll say that yeah. it might go deep. So, all right. Um, let's see here. The uh, 
Kim wants us to sell a seat cushion. You know what, Kim? I will pass that on to the powers that be, a River Dragon seat cushion. I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, I don't control the merch, but, man, I'll try. Uh, Taylor, what's your favorite arena to go into in the FPHL, and what's your favorite team name? That's Robert from Cartersville, Georgia. So I'm going to be biased and say uh, this rink is by far the funnest and um, most most just enjoyable game, uh, place to play. It's The crowd here is electric. Um, the support you get not only here in the rink but away from the rink is phenomenal. Um, a second, I guess, away from here would be another biased one is Binghamton. I played there last year, enjoyed it. Really good crowd, good people there as well, but I'm um, going to have to give Columbus the edge there. Tucker Berenger and a couple other fans, to be honest with you, want to know, could Columbus win the SPHL? I, like... It'd be. I think we could be. A, I think we could compete well in there. It's a very deep league where it's all the. the sta if you look at the standings, everybody's so close. But I think we could be there in the top. We have, when you look at our roster, a lot of those guys have spent time there and did very well. We have the MVP from the SPHL last year. I think we'd um, we do very well in that league as well. This is a great question from Elizabeth, who is ten. Do you prefer rock paper scissors or tic tac toe? <laughs> oh, rock, paper, scissors, take two. I'd probably have to do rock, paper, scissors. It, there's nothing more intense than the game three. It's on the line, and it's just sudden. It's just more, of the, more of the thrill for me there, so I'll go with rock, paper, scissors. Okay. I, I too, like rock, paper, scissors, but I do not mind tic-tac-toe. I enjoy that quite a bit. So, uh, let's see here. Another one. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Out of all the River Dragons players, which one would you let date your daughter? Hunter Brissani, no questions asked. That's that's the one and only one. So, sorry guys, but yeah, no, I'm gonna have to go with Hunter Brissani. He's like a brother to me and good godly man. That's that's who I that's who I'm going with. It's hard not to like Hunter Brissani. No, no, it's it, just it really genuine is. smile. The smile gets you. Yes, absolutely. All right, this question is for you, Mr. Joseph. Does yeah no mean yes? Or no, Jeff C. from Virginia. Can you can you repeat that, please? I, I, I got to so, wrap my brain around that. So one. so this is is this the one? You're, <laughs> you're, yes, because your vocal segue when it, when and Boomer does the same thing. I'll ask a question. He'll go, yeah, no. And so Jeff C. from Virginia wants to know if yeah, no means yes or no. When you start a sentence with that. I, I, I'm thinking it's more like a yeah, no. Like, yeah, no, that, it's a no. Like, yeah, no. That's that's my personal okay. opinion. So. There you go. Thanks, Jeff, for that one. Very, yeah. put, put my brain in a pretzel. Thanks, thanks Jeff C. from Virginia. Um, Jennifer Carter says, don't have a question, but just wants to let us know that she enjoys listening uh, when we're, we're not able to be there. And also we have a Zydeco fan who reached out to us. I know we got to get to a break here in a second. So uh, Cole says, are the River Dragons overrated because they look like they are? Um, obviously, that's from a Zydeco oh, fan. Yeah, I'll just I'll hard. just ask him to look at the record. Yeah, it, it speaks for itself. The numbers so. do speak for themselves. That's for sure. All right, last one here, uh, and uh, the question is: What do you think of the team this year from John Altman? Is this team capable? Of, is this is this a championship River Dragons team? I think um, we have all the pieces. I, I truly believe that um, the room couldn't be closer. Um, everybody's so close in that dressing room and that's that's a key to success right like you're going to battle every day with a group of guys it's important to have everybody um getting along and enjoying themselves and and it, it translates on the ice so i definitely I, I believe in this group and everybody else believes in this group and it's just up to us to continue to push towards that and strive for that all right we're gonna pick our winner when we come back because we've got to get to a break right now two nothing after two river dragons lead third period action coming up on columbus river dragons hockey it's hockey Let's shred away. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich. A golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee. And a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bun.
low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. River Dragon Taki, Tom Callahan, Taylor Joseph here. The River Dragons push in right away. Here's Moore sending it in front. They score right off the initial rush. Nine seconds into the period. And the River Dragons stretch the lead to 3-0. What a start to the period. How about it? Justin McDonald, 25 games with a point. Uh, uh, it's unbelievable. Um, like I said, I, I'm not going to tell him that. I don't. I don't need to tell him that. Um, <laughs> I think he knows. But he, he knows, and I, I'm proud of him. He's a, he's he's a catalyst to our team here, and he drives the offense for us every night. And it's, it's nice to see him get rewarded. Nine seconds into the period, J Max got his 23rd. Here's McDonald, another shot. Stevens a save and a hold on. That's the start we needed, though. We were discussing it earlier. Coming out strong, just separating it, getting the team, out, the Zydeco out of it. and that's, a, that's an important start. Well, the game was so over by the third period last night that J-Mac did not play the third. Yeah. So he was able to get some rest, and, of course, you don't want anything to happen to him. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, tonight I didn't even have time to tell you the third period's brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union before we even got into it. And I have a feeling, like I said, in that power play, at the end of the second period, I felt like he, uh, he dialed the motor up a little. Yeah, like, it's getting close to. <laughs> you know, I feel like, yeah, okay, all right, it's time. And he's a guy that can turn it on at any moment, right? So it's uh, it's good to see him get rewarded there. Here's Jamea Finn on the left side trying to push that one in deep. I'll tell you what, though, that is an immediate dagger to the, the Zynico balloon. Now they have to push back here. And the shift after the goal, they try to do so into the right side corner. Cox will swing it around to the near wall. By the way, on the mailbag segment there, but thanks to everybody. Tremendous participation, and we are so pleased. Everybody, I mean, fantastic, and we really do appreciate you all. Even the sarcastic questions, that's fine. We don't mind those. We'll, we'll take them. Um, but I think Elizabeth wins. I think Elizabeth for rock, paper, scissors uh, versus tic-tac-toe. She wins the Ignite Sports Prize Pack. Puck tip way out of play up over the netting and out here, a buck 17 into the third period. Yeah, we can't give it to Jeff C. from Virginia. No, he, um, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's disqualified because, you know, I'm in a pretzel still, so I. I <laughs> but Elizabeth, you will win that Ignite Sports Prize Pack. We'll reach out and let you know. And thank you for the question. Thank you, everybody, for the questions. And you know what? It's uh, it's a lot of fun bringing you River Dragons hockey. We enjoy it, and we appreciate you being here. River Dragons will spin it around the far side. It goes out to center ice, cutting on it there. Coming up on a minute and a half into this third period of play, River Dragons have already scored their first even strength game goal of the game. 
And Justin McDonald extends his league record scoring streak to 25 games. And there's Oslaheka, hip check from cutting, lined him up. That was a good one. I got a, I got a little uh, anecdote here for you as Bersani tips it back into the corner and out of play, so I can let this one hang. I, I put it out there earlier in the game, but in case anybody missed it or some new folks might be watching or listening in, if you took away... So McDonald's got a point in every game since December 1st, okay? Now, over that stretch, if I can go back to this here, in that stretch, he now has 55 points. If you took away every game before December 1st, all of his points before December 1st, he'd still be second in league scoring just because of the streak. No, it's it's crazy. It's it's it's, 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 it's He's doing well. He's doing well. I think the biggest thing, it's the beginning of the season, you're trying to find chemistry with players, and you can see that line. They're just they're, The chemistry's there, and they're working well together. So it's, it's good to see, and obviously they're getting rewarded for it. River Dragons trying to move it ahead here up the left side. Here's Bersani. That's just, it's insane to me. 55 points in 25 games. Great stretch. And, and you're right, the line is just buzzing. Swam with a hit there, and he's going to pick up a penalty. And uh, I, That wasn't the hardest hit, but he did get him from behind. So I think Swanee's going to go in for boarding here, it looks like. And the Zatico are going to go to the power play. We'll, we'll talk about it there, but boarding it is. Zydeco, fans don't like it, but, I mean, anytime you hit a guy in the back, you're going to go to the box for it. So that's the call right there. 2.21 time of the penalty. Second power play of the night. Sequoia Swan into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box, and the River Dragons will see if they can get him out of there. See if that jet get out of jail free card will apply. River Dragons push ahead. Here's a short-handed chance. Petrotoni a breakaway. Backhand. Stevens the save as he tried to go five hole. Nice job by Stevens to track him to the backhand. Yeah, no great burst of speed there by Petrotoni on the blue line. The guy's trailing on him. That's not an easy task ahead, but he made a good uh, good play there and a great save by Stevens as well. Maybe they're trying to get the jailbreak. <laughs> get him out yeah. shorthanded goal Why against not? Swanee Let's out of jail. Let's test it out. Yeah, but, uh, I think it would be fun to see if they ever put that in at this level. I think it'd be pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool to see what they're doing there at the PWHL. Make it entertaining, right? That's the point. Here's Doan with a chance and a glove saved by Stevens right off the faceoff. Austin Doe to the backhand. Yeah, no, just positionally sound, patient, great save there. Is it the black jerseys? Do you guys get more fired up in the black jerseys? I love them. I, my, my personal favorite, I think, is the teal, but these are really close second. Puck goes to Gill at the point. He lost it there. Had to carry it back out to center. Dump that one back in. Now here's Petrantonio off the right side. He carries it in with a quick shot, pawed down by Stevens. Oh, Doe put the rebound right on net as he stole it away. This line is all over the Zydeco power play unit. Telstrom trying to move it ahead. It's tipped, comes to Underwood. Underwood will set it on back down. I honestly forgot we were shorthanded there for a second. The, it, it, the I can understand. Zydeco back the other way. 115 to go on the man advantage. Here they come in on the right side. Hanson tried a little toe drag in on goal. And both players spilled to the ice over there on the far side. Puck at the near post. Rowan trying to walk it out of front. Shot to save Colgan. Rebound in a pile pulled out. Underwood. Able to get to it, takes the hit, makes the play, and Underwood doesn't like it, turns around, gives a shot to Hansen, and they're both going to go. That's been boiling over since last period as well. They're at it behind the net, and rightfully so. You don't see Underwood get this fired up. It's, I love it. It's nice to see. Yeah, you know what, and and that's the thing is, Undy's not a lose is cool kind of guy, but he is a hey, I'm standing up for myself, and enough is enough. Yeah, I think he, I think he has a threshold that we don't often see, but when it when it does go off, he's he's not he's not going to back down. And the crowd cheering there because as Hanson was on his way to the box, he then tried to get at Underwood as they were jawing at one another, and uh, he got knocked down by the linesman who was restraining him at the time. I don't know if that's going to get Hanson anything extra or not. If it evens up, which is the most likely scenario here, we go four on three with this penalty kill for 58 seconds. However, because Hanson was a little handsy with the linesman there, I don't know if there's going to be anything extra given there. So we'll, we'll find out here in a moment. 
And uh, the chat continues at the referee's crease. So we'll find out what exactly the story will be. But uh, we got the uh, the Taylor Joseph fan club up here visiting with you. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. It's... You are the most popular guy. Some some nights I just, everybody's coming up here, they're peeking in. Who's that guy in the box? Yeah, no, just trying to do my job here. And <laughs> it, it's, you no, know, it's good. It's always nice to see people coming up and saying hi. I love uh, spending time with the fans here. And they're, like I said, great people out here in Columbus and I always have time for that. So they do, by the way, take the two minutes for each guy off the board, so they are going to match up. You know what, though? I will say, I mean, our fans are, number one, extremely passionate. But number two, I don't think Columbus gets enough credit as a hockey market. And I'm going to say this for Baton Rouge because I know we got Baton Rouge folks listening. Baton Rouge had hockey in the East Coast League years ago. There is a fan base there that is old guard. They know the game. They've been around. Same thing here in Columbus. I'm tired of the phrase non-traditional hockey market. You either have a hockey team or you don't, but... You're a hockey market if you got a team. That's how it is. No, and like like I, I you see here in the south, especially like I've never I never knew what to expect coming to the south for hockey, and it's, it's such a passionate fan group, and especially Columbus. Like it's uh, it's we draw what forty five, five, six sometimes. It's it's great to see, and it's always consistent, right? So it's it's a great place to play. Sold out military night, yeah. seventy four forty. That was a tremendous crowd. And, of course, doing some great stuff for the troops here as well at Fort Moore. Columbus still pushing in here, shorthanded for the next 17 seconds. Looking for a chance. Here's a feed for Hunter, but it was between his skates. He has to collect it in the corner. Ryan Hunter out the far side. He's just going to take it back on down the ice. Why not? Just eat some clock here as he feeds it over. Slahetka backing up, looking for a place to put it. Dumps it down. Swan out of the box. River Dragons have killed it off as he's out of that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. And we're back to five on five. Zydeco pushing ahead. Cox had to hold up at the line and couldn't catch that pass. Turn the other way, and that's going to be an icing call. Cutting should win the race back. No, they wave it off. All right, Swan getting back in there. And now Cutting lugging the mail all the way through center, dumping it in. Colgan tips it to the glass in the near corner. Puck tied up in the far side. Gill battling over there with Robinson. River Dragons pull it out. Just past the five-minute mark of this third period. Columbus scored right away coming out. Justin McDonald. And he extends his league record point streak to 25 games. It's 3-0 now. River Dragons in to the Zydeco zone. Feed in front. Ends up with the left pointers. Bersani walking in with room. A shot left pad. Save Stevens. Puck not out. Bockwell, his shot tipped away in front. Bersani, left half wall with it. Looking cross ice. Got it over through to Doe. Feeds high slot. Duncan, his wrister. Save made. Big rebound. Cleared but not out. Bersani on that. Curling in the high slot. Works his way through. Tried to slide it across. Pass deflected behind the net. Now in front of Bersani again in the backhand. Oh, shot save. Doe's got it. Leaves it up top. Now a drive and that is ripped wide. Bouncing puck side of the net. River Dragons still on it. Absolute chaos on the shift. Here's Dope trying to feed it down low. Bersani on the wall. Bacon trying to pull it out. The Zydeco still can't clear. Puck rolls right across the front of the net. Doe over after it. This line is tired, but they're still controlling it. Doe with a wrister blocked. Clear to the line. No, not out. Fed into the right wing corner. Bersani leaving it in space. There's nobody there. Cox off the glass. Finally out. Oh, my goodness. Stevens pulled that off the goal line. Really big save there off the rebound. Here's Doe back in. Slaheka going to the net. Doe delaying up top. Gets it across. Left side moving in. Gill with a shot. And that is fought off by the blocker side. Here's Doe holding at the right point. Into space. Slaheka. Shot tipped on the way in. And Stevens got a piece of it. Now the puck to the line. Still not out. Big hit. Puck in front. Here's Jemayev. Side of the net. Tried to feed it in front. Petrantonio after the bouncer. It's free to the near side. Puck up the slot. The Zydeco just absolutely struggling right now in their own zone. They finally break up here. Chirac trying to cut through the D, and he's knocked down by Gill. Back the other way. French has to swing it away from the charging Petrantonio. Both teams finally a chance to reset the lines here. Hunter up the left wing. Petrantonio up with him. Hunter, Petrantonio, quick shot, and a save by Stevens coming to his left. 
this pure dominance there by, <laughs> by Columbus, just resilient. Res it's, it's really nice to see. Absolutely. Let's take a break. 7-18 into this third period. 3-0 Columbus. This is River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place, it's the way we do business. Back here for third period action, 3 nothing River Dragon 7-18 gone in the third. Shots are 55 to 21 in favor of Columbus. Just absolutely pouring it on here in the Zydeco end. I think they heard the question about whether or not they were overrated in the intermission. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'll have to ask that question again. But uh, they're absolutely pouring it on. Absolutely. It's been uh, an awful lot of fun. And you know what? Right now watching this River Dragons hockey team just swarm, I think, is the best adjective to use here. And... The face-off controlled by Columbus. They'll go to work. Right side, here's Duncan. It's five on five as Duncan walks it in with a screen. His shot is tipped wide. Hunter swings it up, left point. Now over to the right side quickly to Duncan. Into the high slot, curling more. Lost it off the end of his stick. But McDonald right there to pick it up. Try to put it across. Rowan stole it away. And now Rowan breaks up the left side. Rowan in with a long shot. Put it over top of the net. Sent in behind the goal. Brody Duncan will play it off the glass to the line, not out off of cutting. Duncan following it up, gets it ahead, and now two on one. River Dragons ahead. Here's McDonald. The Moore, and his shot hit the defender. Nice job by French to slide over and pick him up. Moore tried to play it over to McDonald. That one is tapped away to the wall. Puck to center. Bockwell will get it across. Hunter back in. Moore, right wing, looking in front. Moore tried to get it across there to McDonald, and that one was deflected away. Zydeco back on the right side. Telstrom in with a wrist shot and ripped it wide on the stick side. Puck dies behind the net off a of stanchion. Gill up the left wing, eight and a half gone here in the third. Three nothing River Dragons. Aslin moving it back across. Haskins leaves it left side. Cox cross ice feet, bouncing puck in front. Shot tip behind the net. Onto the near side. Zydeco trying to find their offensive footing here. Puck at the point. A shot. Oh, that one pinballing away in front. Might have hit Colgan. Somehow getting through that traffic. Quick line moving it out. Columbus will just go for the dump there as Hunter will send it in right side. And he'll head to the bench. Bersani out with Wick line now up front. And that one behind the net. A quick chance in front again. Stevens has to shut it down. Right in front of the net. This time it's Storjahan. He is having himself a pretty darn good game. Yeah, no, like I, like I said earlier, just great position. Like, he's not out too far, but just right taking the angle and not giving the shooter much to shoot out there. I want to remind everybody, River Dragons Hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting, specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. River Dragons with a 3-0 lead, looking to head to it. There's a chance in front. Stevens takes it away on the backhand from Storjahan and covers. And Columbus uh, really doing a nice job moving the puck around. They've got room in the offensive zone. They're finding seams. Guys are cutting across. Yeah, guys are just on the same page, right? Like, you can see it. Like It's nice when the lines, they get to the, – there's a lot of familiarity, familiarity there. They're playing with each other most of the year. It's just that they know where you guys are, right, and they're making those connections. Puck ends up at the left point. River Dragons keeping it in. Here's Gill with a shot tipped around to the near side. And now it's sent back down into the right side corner to Wickline. Wickline leaving it off into space. 
They try to cycle there, but that one is picked up by Rowan, and he's knocked down but got the puck out. Gowan moving it ahead. Slid back from on the left side, but Underwood will beat him to it. Tied up on the near wall. Rowan into that pile. Gowan, centering attempt, goes through and out the other side. And now two on one. River Dragons up. Here's Wickline moving in. Plenty of room. Hooks it across and into the skates of Storjahan. He couldn't shoot. Played away out to center. Slahetka with it. Just past the halfway mark of this third period. 3-0 Columbus as both teams change. Wickline, did he tip that? Yes. No icing. I know Columbus wants to make that pretty pass. Execute, and here's Gillen with a shot tipped in front just wide. But sometimes on that two-on-one, you want to see a guy shoot. Here's no, Gillen again in with a chance, looking down low for Jameev on a diving block by cutting. Puck ends up behind the net. Jameev trying to center. And now it'll be just knocked out of the zone by the Zydeco. Hansen up with it. And, oh, he is put into the glass. On the far side there is a puck cleared out. Down the ice and Haskins after it for the icing call. Duncan complaining about it. But sorry, Taylor, I didn't mean to cut you off there for your thought. You got a second here. And uh, actually, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. So collect that thought. 9.15 to go here in the third. 3-0 Columbus. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Football time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. And we are back here at the Columbus Civic Center. 9.15 left to go in this third period. 3-0 River Dragons. A couple of power play goals. Wick line, Stor Jahan, even strength for Justin McDonald. McDonald now 25 straight games with a point. 3-0 Columbus, 58-22. River Dragons leading in the shots on goal parade as well. Face off back of the Columbus end to the left of Colgan. Pass ahead. Did not find an intended target, even an unintended target. And Zydeco bounce it back to center. Now they move up here. Chirac in on the left side. And he had it poked off a stick. Nice coverage there. Duncan closed him down when he realized he had a little help there. A yeah, great step. And then also with the back pressure, just not giving them any options there off the rush. And you know what? That uh, We talked about it last time, last weekend a lot, the communication. You know, as soon as Duncan's got that ability to move up, someone needs to tell him, hey, I got it. Yeah. And that's when you make that play. There's a chance in front, and Telstrom scores. Nice play off the rush there for the Zydeco, and Matthias Telstrom makes it a 3-1 game with 8.37 to go. And that might have been the opposite of what we were just saying, just a little bit of the communication, when to step, when the guys to cover. Uh, just a misman miss there of uh, assignment, but it's all good. Well, good response here. 11.23, time of the goal. And for Telstrom, that is his eighth goal of the season. Let's see what Columbus does. They, re they reply with a big line here. Hunter Moore. And McDonald cutting, trying to clear the puck out. Kanon Robinson after it. And giving up behind the net, a wraparound in front. McDonald with a shot and a glove saved by Stevens. That is not the guy you want to steal the puck. No, not with that much time in front. The goal is recorded as Telstrom from Aslan and Chirac. River Dragons win that draw to the point. They're able to keep it in. Nice job by Underwood. Hunter, right side corner. McDonald back up top, and his pass missed, and out it goes. A 
Back in come the River Dragons with a shot ripped to the glass. Around the glass it goes in out. Underwood. Move it back to Bockwell. Bockwell's pass is forced the other way. Underwood moving it around. Bockwell up the far side, but cut off and kept in by Alloyan. He'll put it right across the front of the net. And nobody there for it. River Dragons clear it out to center. They're going to start a change here in a moment, but in the meantime, they push up left side. McDonald in with a wrist shot. Save Stevens. Puck is in the slot, but cleaned up by the Zydeco defense. Still not out, though. And now it bounces out over the line, but stolen right back by Wickline. He'll push in on the left wing. Tried to feed back for McDonald. Cox blocked it, and he clears it out. Pushed right back into a pile. Both teams working on a change. Got to be careful there. You don't want to get caught for too many men. Dumped in from center. Cole going to leave it there. 7 7 and counting to go in this third period. Columbus Ed, here's Wickline. Storjahan going to the net. Wickline in space, leaves for Slaheka on the right wing. Slaheka has room, walks in front, feeds it over, pass blocked, and Wickline still got a chance away. That was deflected away. Wickline on the right side corner. In front, looking for the tip. Storjahan couldn't quite reach it. Swung to the left point. Here's Gill, sending it towards the net. Knocked away. Telstra ends up with it. And Telstrom will send it down the ice. No icing, though. Rowan's going to beat it out. So out to play it is Colgan into the shin pads of Rowan. His second chance, he's able to clear it up the wall. Telstrom keeping the puck into the point. Slahetka around after it. Nice move there to spin away from Hansen. And now move it to center. Storja Hahn couldn't hang on to that one. This is dumped back in. Oh, boy, oh, the puck. Man. That's that bounce <laughs> we were talking about. Yeah, that's where you're, you're practicing that and practice seeing where the bounces are. But yeah, you never know. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. Colgan went out to play it. The puck went right across the goal line. Didn't go in, but boy, it was just teasing. If there was a Zydeco player there, that's just to tap in. It's a helpless feeling. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you could do. And you can't throw your stick, otherwise it's a penalty shot. Or they can award the goal. Which you certainly don't want. Wickline back the other way on the right side. Try to put it in front. Nice job by French to block the pass. You can see the Zydeco stretching here a lot here, trying to get odd man rushes. They feed it across the goal mouth. Nobody there for it. Cox on the left side. Sends it back into the corner. Robinson. Robinson to the left point. French and the goaltender going oh. to the bench. Penalty coming up here against the River Dragons. 5.21 to go in the third. That was a C-nice shot. That didn't miss by much there off the point. A lot of traffic. And now it's going to be a slashing call against Brody Duncan. Third power play of the game for the Zydeco. Comes with 14-39 elapsed on that third period clock. If you're the Zydeco, you're down by two. Now it's a little early to pull your goaltender, 521, unless you're Patrick Waugh. But, I mean, if you convert on the power play, great. Now it's a one-goal game. If you don't convert, you might have to start looking at the end of this power play. You'd be about 320-ish left to go. Yeah, it's a little risky right now, especially with how our PK has been against this team tonight. Like, it's probably will be a little patient, see if you can get one here, and then kind of go from there. Buck up top, Hanson with a shot blocked in front. And oh, here we go, looking for a shorthanded chance. Scooped ahead, but Hanson caught it before it reached Doe. So Duncan in the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. The River Dragons going to try to see if they can spring him out of there before long. And here's Cox on the left side. This is a big penalty kill for the River Dragons. Puck coughed up, and now Petrantonio pokes it ahead. He's got a breakaway. Petrantonio in, shot, he scores! Josh Petrantonio with a shorthanded goal, and it's 4-1 River Dragons. He just gets right off the yeah, ice. Yeah, he's he, all business there. <laughs> I was trying to collect my thoughts. Um, no, <laughs> Didn't even go through the line. No. I, I hope he's okay, but he just went, went to the bench and sat down. Maybe he was just gassed. Yeah, no, it was a great effort there. <laughs> it just sat right down. All right. It's like, all right, boys, let's keep it going. Short and a goal number six on the air for the River Dragons.
here's maybe a time when you see them pull the goalie a little early down three with the power play, just try to get something going. It's just, it's really hard with our team with how much firepower we have. A lot of the time we're in their end when we're on the PK, so it's, it's a, uh, it's, I don't know, it's win, 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 lose, who knows. Well, and that's where, I mean, really, you talk about, especially in a power play, oh, heavy hit on the far side. And a big hit there. And the River Dragons try to bring the physical game back up. Zydeco trying to respond in kind, but in the meantime, the puck cleared down the ice. Duncan in the box for another 27 seconds. 3.45 to go in the third. It's 4-1 Columbus. Sent back around the rim, and down the ice it goes. Hansen will go back for it. They'll bring it up the right side. Swan poke checks him at the line and clears it back to center. Swan will get it the rest of the way down, and that'll do it out of the box is Duncan. Huge penalty kill right there, Taylor. Yeah, and like I said, like opportunistic on the PK. It's with that much firepower. It's hard to give us those opportunities and cough up the puck at the blue line. You see Petro Antonio just capitalize on the chance. There's a chance for Telstrom, whipped wide from the right wing side. Vic line will put it back across. Bersani does get it out over the blue line. And a puck battle there at center. And it ends up back. Bersani trying to fish his way through traffic there. And it knocked off his stick. Zydeco on the regroup here. Well, if they are going to pull the goaltender, now's the time because there's not much time left here. Got a couple of leather lungs down to yeah. our right going at it. <laughs> They're leaving it all out there. Even the fans are leaving it all out there tonight. Bersani around to the far side and a big hit there in the corner. Bersani and Cutting colliding. 2.20 to go into third. Telstrom back to the near side. Puck up in the air, and that one is golfed back down. The ice gill will turn after it. Keep in mind, the River Dragons have also been doing this with five defensemen for half the hockey game. Shinkarik ended up with a misconduct. And uh, the game misconduct, as did Ozolin, so the Zydeco have also been short. And they went out at the same time. And that was back in the second period. Robinson in for the Zydeco, a centering feed, and hooked up there in front with Chirac, couldn't get a shot away. Columbus trying to clear the zone, and they do get it out now. Moore tips it to himself on the right side, walks in, has room. Kyle Moore, toe drag in, but the shot hit the defenseman. Puck in the slot, that one Hunter couldn't corral. Now he steals it back, Hunter, oh boy, a diving poke by Bacon, took it away. Moore with a centering feed. Block cleared to the line, not out. Cleared off the glass. That would have scooped on down and well, Colgan's going to come out and play it. They'll negate the icing with 1.13 to go. And I think at this point the River Dragons just don't want to take a penalty here. And now Duncan kind of lost the puck. He moved it ahead. Here's McDonald in left side. Hunter with a shot. And Aslan took a knee to block it. Here's the stretch to center. Up on the left side. Trying to work his way in there. Alloy in. He's turned away to the corner. And he spins Blockwell down, but the puck turned away to the left point. Aslan holding it in. Duncan on it. He'll flip it out of the zone and a bouncer down the ice. Fans on their feet. 39 seconds to go. River Dragons' win streak is going to be 15 in a row. We get a whistle here. No, play continues on the right side. Thought we might have had a penalty call coming up there after a collision at center. And now we have a whistle on an offside call. With 21.2 seconds left to go, we are going to get our final break of the period in 4-1. River Dragons back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money. 
make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic Mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. All right, we are back here with 21.2 seconds to go in this third period. River Dragons 4-1 up in the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Third period action brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. And uh, for the second night in a row, we've actually gone to the final minute of the final period to get our bills paid and get that final spot in. But it's important that we recognize the sponsors and thank them as they help us bring you Columbus River Dragons hockey on the radio and on the YouTube side as well. Underwood will dump the puck in from center. 4-1 Columbus. The win streak will go to 15 games, which is a franchise record here in the FPHL. Up on the right side, here's Jamea with the line, cutting in. He's not done. Wrist shot, save. Stevens rebound in front. Two seconds to go, and the game's over. And they come off the bench to congratulate Brendan Colgan on the win. 4-1 River Dragons. And we'll take a quick break, come back with the three stars of the game in just a moment. Stay tuned, Pepsi Post Game Show. Actually, Taylor, Joseph, any final thoughts before you head down? Yeah, no, uh, guys played well. Another pretty complete game. Um, thanks for having me, Tom, and thanks for listening to me, guys. Anytime. You're always welcome up here. Taylor, thanks for joining us. All right, so we'll come right back with more in a moment. Pepsi Post Game Show, Time River Dragons win. Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Don't miss your chance to win at Victory Land Casino. We're open 24 7, so come on in for non stop gaming action. You'll find the latest, hottest, most exciting games around, and you'll love the fun bonuses and big jackpots. Plus, you can watch and wager on horse and greyhound races from all over the world. Your best bet for big wins is just minutes away at Victory Land Casino, where you can be a winner too. Victory Land Casino, located off I 85 exit 22 in Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Post game show. Welcome back. Tom Callahan here with you, and we are ready for the three stars of the night. Brought to you by Wade Cleaners. Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Scorch and Torch. Face off, or ha, face off, ha, t shirt toss coming up here in just a moment. And we will get that down on the ice. Storage a hand. Ends up as your third star tonight. Colgan with another second star effort here tonight. 
Good to recognize the goaltenders. I'm sure Taylor Joseph would agree. Certainly not the high degree of difficulty he had last night, but another great performance out of Colgan. And your captain, Josh Petrantonio, with a goal and an assist. Tosses the T-shirt out, and now we'll get an interview down on the ice with Petro. Taylor Ann Young with the interview tonight. your first star, Josh Petrantonio. We'll take a break and more of the Pepsi Post Game Show coming your way in just a moment. River Dragons win it 4-1 over the Baton Rouge Sonico. Stay tuned. We're wrapping up the scoring. A final look at that. It's almost zipping out of town. Scoreboard more coming your way on River Dragons Hockey. I Spice? Wait. Who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Not quite the big time win they had last night, but still a pretty convincing victory here tonight against the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Believe it or not, this game is scoreless heading into the second period. And then in the second period, the River Dragons scored twice on the power play. The first one from Cody Wickline at 521. Alexander Jameyev and Carter Shinkarik, the assists. And then at 18-19, Storjahan, the goal from Petrantonio and Doe. 2 nothing at that point after two periods of play. Into the third, the River Dragons, nine seconds into period number three. They convert. Justin McDonald is 23rd of the year. The scoring streak has now reached 25 games for J-Mac. Unbelievable run, and uh, it continues here tonight 
with that goal. And then wrapping, or pardon me, it was 3 0 at that point. And then Telstrom with a goal, his eighth of the year from Aslan and Chirac at 11 23, gave the Zydeco a little bit of hope. And uh, the Zydeco were hanging tough in that third period, trying to do what they could. But that was the only goal of the game for Baton Rouge at 15 16. A shorthanded goal on a breakaway for Josh Petrantonio, the captain, who finishes with a goal and an assist here tonight. And he puts it away 4 1. Your final score. Power plays River Dragons finish two for four with a man advantage tonight. Zydeco go 0 for 3. Shots for the River Dragons, 12 in the first, 31 shots in the second period. That is a single period high for this season for the River Dragons, 19 in the third, 62 in total. That is the second highest total for the River Dragons this season. 64, if you're curious, is the high. And for Baton Rouge, 10 in the first, 10 in the second, just three in the third period. That is a season low uh, in a period against the River Dragons, 23 in total for the shots on goal. We'll take a break. When we come back, a final look back at that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard as we wrap things up in this Pepsi postgame show. Don't forget, if you're out at your car right now and you're listening to the postgame show, there is a postgame party with the River Dragons at the loft tonight in downtown Columbus, 21 and over, please, but... Maybe we'll catch you out there. All right, back with more in just a moment. River Dragons win it 4-1. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. It's the Pepsi Post Game Show. River Dragons win it 4-1 over the Baton Rouge Zydeco here tonight. Tom Callahan back with you to wrap it up. And as we do so, we take a final look back at our Zelmo's zip-in. Out-of-town scoreboard and tonight in the FPHL. Four other games besides ours. In overtime, Motor City 4-3 winners over Port Huron. Elmira holds on for a 4-2 win over the Blue Ridge Bobcats tonight. Carolina Thunderbirds win on the road 4-3 over the Mississippi Seawolves, and they earn a road split on the weekend. And this game still going on late in the third period now. The Danbury Hattricks 5-1 over the Watertown Wolves at Watertown Arena. In the NHL finals from earlier today in overtime, Kings 5-4 over the Bruins. Oilers 4-3 over the Stars in OT. Blackhawks 3-2 winners over the Senators. Red Wings 5, Flames nothing. Sabres 3-2 in overtime over the Wild. Preds 5-2 over the Blues. Panthers 9-2 over the Lightning. Uh, game still going on right now late in the third period. Capitals up 4-3 on the Canadians. Canadians on the power play with under a minute to go in that one. Maple Leafs 9-2 winners over the Ducks tonight. 
The outdoor game tonight going on in New Jersey at the home of the Giants and Jets is now the home of the Devils and Flyers. Devils with a 2-1 second period lead in that game. 10 o'clock puck drop coming up here just about 10 minutes away. Jets at Canucks. 10.30 bottom of the hour. Blue Jackets at Sharks. And the Hurricanes are at the Golden Knights. And in men's top 25 college basketball, underway right now, number five, Arizona against Arizona State, and that one's a one-point game, but very early in the first half. Finals from earlier, number 10, Iowa State beats Texas Tech. Number 15, Alabama over Texas A&M. Number 21, Virginia tops Wake Forest. Number 17, Creighton beats Butler. Number 3, Houston tops Texas. Number 16, Dayton beats Fordham. Number 7, North Carolina wins over Virginia Tech. Number 9, Duke tops Florida State. Oklahoma State beats number 19, BYU. Iowa beats number 20, Wisconsin. That game took single overtime, but Iowa comes out with a win. Number one, UConn, 81 to 53 over number four, Marquette. Boy, how about the Huskies? That is a convincing victory, 28 point spread. Number 11, South Carolina loses to LSU, 64 63. Number six, Kansas beats number 25, Oklahoma. Number 14, Illinois tops Maryland. Number eight, Tennessee beats Vanderbilt. Number 12, Baylor beats West Virginia. Number 22, Kentucky beats number 13, Auburn, 70 to 59. And Southern Illinois beats number 23, Indiana State, 74-69. That's it for a final look back at the Zelmo Zip and Out of Town scoreboard. Here tonight, we had a 4-1 win for the Columbus River Dragons. And the River Dragons are now take to the road three in a row against the Motor City Rockers. Haven't seen these guys this year. It'll be nice to see a new team. And uh, as a matter of fact, the River Dragons against the Rockers uh, in that. And then there's going to be another set swinging back to Michigan in March where we're going to finally get to see the Port Huron Prowlers, who actually do not come here this year. So the only time we'll get a chance to see the Prowlers is on the road up there at McMoran Arena. Uh, but, yeah, the road trip, first one in a while here, but the River Dragons come out 8-0 through this eight-game homestand and still undefeated in the new year since 2024. Flipped over uh, the River Dragons now 15 in a row. Just an unbelievable run for this Columbus River Dragons hockey team. They have not lost a game in the calendar year 2024. An unbelievable run for Justin McDonald, who has points now in 25 straight games. The league record continues just keeps on growing. Also, extensions of scoring streaks tonight for other players. Kyle Moore, Austin Doe, Josh Petrantonio, uh, Carter Shankarik, Alexander Jemayev now has points in three. So, uh, Ryan Hunter uh, getting it going for himself as well. As a matter of fact, Hunter came in uh, with 11 points in his last three games, collected an assist here tonight to keep that one going. But, boy, oh, boy, this River Dragons team just is so deep, so talented. Um, it's it's going to be an interesting clash when they go up to Michigan to take on Motor City. Our next River Dragons home game will be coming all the way in March, believe it or not. I know you're looking ahead on your calendar, but uh, if you're making plans to come out and join us, the next time the River Dragons will be at home will not be until the uh, next month on the calendar when they do return home for a game against the Carolina Thunderbirds. That is on Friday the 8th. So get your tickets for that one now. And then a reminder on the 16th, the Baton Rouge Zydeco do come back to town. That is Faith and Family Night. It is our next family four-pack night as well. So we hope that you can make it down for that. But a reminder that for $40, you get four tickets to a game, four Pepsi products, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Chick-fil-A coupons, all for just $40. Brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. And Kissin 99.3, only available through the River Dragons office. All right, one more time, your final four. One River Dragons win it. Win streak continues up to 15 games now. My thanks to my broadcast crew for getting us through this one here tonight. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And thank you for listening or watching Columbus River Dragons hockey. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelbo Zip In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, 
BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.